We live, we live, I think we're live, right? We're live? We should be. Should be live, right? I don't know why this thing won't let me play my music. Let me play my music. Let me play my music. Why no music? Why no music? Try that. Try that, maybe. Try that. No, no music. What's happening, y'all? Let me go and say what's up to everybody. What's good? What's good? That boy Anthem Tiger is first, okay? King Sean second. Joanne, Michael, the real LC. Aaron Smith was good, TMS. Daniel Morgan, yo, come on, get this L. If I don't want to win anymore, when we get our QB of the future, we will instantly be a playoff team. I agree. Everyone like and subscribe. Great time. Turn on the way if you become a member. Let them know, Rich. I appreciate that. Also, subscribe to the brand new gaming channel. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate the promotion for watching the game today. Use Vola Kit. Let me go ahead. Hey, let me go ahead and pin that comment. Thank you for putting that. I need to start saying that. When I say it, I need to say, like, for watching the games. I need to do that same exact thing. And, like, my new profile picture. I can't even see. It's always so small for me. I'm going to have to, like, click on your profile. You can watch any local game. That's what I'm going to do. Derek JB was good. Pokey. James Fisher was good. Was good. Sadie, y'all. What's happening, y'all? Gonna tie. <laughs> What's good, Kevin? NFL hey, says nothing. Talk about us pregame show. <laughs> yeah, bro, we just don't matter, bro. You can tell, you can tell by how off how many 1 p.m. games we have this season. We don't have a single 8 p.m. game, do we? Even on Thanksgiving, we play at four. <laughs> still have we still the strongest fan base. Yeah, we're definitely one of the strongest fan bases, though. We're easily top seven. Like as far as just like passion, how many of us it is, and how we're literally everywhere. Brazil, Mexico, the UK. I mean, it's people that have literally never been to America that are Burgundy and Gold fans. Like, we're definitely literally top seven fan base. And that's being completely objective. That's me living in Atlanta seeing it. There's plenty of us down here. Um, and y'all already know through the stream, we have people from Brazil and Germany and everything, man. And uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Where was another one? It was another one. I think it was somewhere like Southeast Asia, like Indonesia. Um, we everywhere, bro. It's good. Tucker Prescott was good. Was good. I want Haskins to start. I'm like, might as well, but hey. But I guess that was good, Lil Mo. Was good. Was good, Danny Mitchell. Alex Smith account was good. We in Latvia with it. Oh, yeah, Porzingis. Yes, sir. Don't worry, Andreas. Wait, what Andreas say? I miss it. Oh, what's good, Andreas? I missed it. I went right by it. I thought it was another uh, mod. Oh, that's. I read your comment. You were the Haskins comment. Okay. I may got to watch this game on my Xbox. Hey, bro, do what you got to do, bro. I mean, when in doubt, the pinned comment, Rich got you. The Vola kit, shouts out to, I still think it was Dequavius that gave us that link, bro. Cl most clutch link ever, bro. I'm able to watch the games with y'all. I'm not three plays behind. Also from Greece. What's good, El Greco? Yes, sir. I'm reporting here from Landover. <laughs> I mean, we know that. Skins fan straight out of New Hampshire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, Chris Sweezy? From Connecticut, but I let his team too much to switch. I'm right with you. From Atlanta, let his team too Well, I was born in Maryland, though, but Rigo got the info. Always, oh, always. Oh, is Haskins active? Yes, sir. He is the backup today. Shout out to Rich, showing love from heaven. I like that, Derek JB. I love that. My boy Derek. I'm about to watch this on Vola Kit. Same here. Herbert or Wentz? Herbert. Gotta be. Who, who do they play today? Are you talking about fantasy, right? And what's good, HTTR lot? What's good, Jay? Y'all, what's happening? Brody on Brody is on my bed. Aja is right next to me on the ground. I just tried to donate twenty five, but it's not letting me for some reason. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Don't hurt yourself, though. You know what I'm saying? Do not hurt yourself. Don't get scammed or any way. All my information is in the uh, description. So like Cash App, PayPal, all of that. Do not get scammed. Please don't get scammed. If anything, if you if you have to think about it too hard or it's like too hard to figure out, just don't do it. I don't want y'all losing y'all money out here. Over or under games until Alex Smith gets injured. Oh, I don't I don't I don't even want to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know Dwayne Haskins starting, I do, but I don't want to wish injury on him. Even though I prefer Dwayne Haskins starting, because it's just like might as well. Like I mean, I, unless you're trying to win this division, which I'm not trying to do. Um, then I can understand why you want Alex Smith to start. But for me, there's literally no benefit to Alex Smith starting. So, um, 
What's to call it? Yeah. So I don't I don't wish injuries on Alex Smith though at all. Like there's nothing there's nothing I, I do I, I just can't do it, bro. That's my boy over there, man. Cash App, he gets 100%. That's a good point. Thank you, Alex Smith. Yeah, I prefer Cash App, too, because I literally get all of it. When you donate through YouTube, they take 30%. So if you donate a dollar, I get 70 cents out of it. But, like, Cash App, PayPal, I get all of it type of thing. Um, My greatest concern, once again, is coronavirus. is extremely dangerous, unstable, and violent. I hope the NFL is doing everything at their disposal to protect the players and the coaches. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're doing it more so for money reasons. But, yeah, they're trying. Herbert plays Miami. Wentz plays the Giants. Oh, yeah, I'm starting Herbert. I'm starting Herbert. Big W today. We need, What's good, Dylan? What's happening, man? How you doing over there? Hope y'all... My boy, Scotty, pulled up. I saw your stream with Pedro last night. How do you think we go today? Honestly, like, I, even though I, I, I don't want a division, I don't want to win a division, I want a top pick. The Lions are not... I mean, they beat the Cardinals, so I don't know, but, like, on paper... We're just better than them in literally every way but quarterback. Like, literally every way. You look at position group with Kenny Galladay hurt, even before Kenny Galladay got hurt. Our corners are better. I mean, they may have better safeties by default. Because, I mean, I like the Shays of Everett, though, and I like what Cameron Curl's doing in the box. Don't put Cameron Curl in coverage. Keep him in the box. Literally use him like a Landon Collins. He makes plays. Um, I'm trying to think our linebacker group. I think Cole Holcomb is better than any linebacker the Lions have, possibly. Our defensive line is better. Um, our receiving core is better. I believe our run back is a be running back group is better. Even I love DeAndre Swift. That's my boy. And they have Adrian Peterson. So I don't know. That might be a stalemate. I may lean towards them. But I, I just love Antonio Gibson's a athleticism. I like J.D. McKissick a lot. But I don't know. I mean, even then, still, I think I believe our offensive line is better now. In the beginning, like the first four games, it wasn't. We were bottom three in the league. Now we're top half of the league. Um, I just, I mean, literally, is really quarterback, and if you want to, if you want to go there, running back. That's it. That's the only way they're better than us. But I mean, again, they beat the Cardinals. We got Diddy bought by the Cardinals, so who knows? But I mean, I just don't see like we we just look like a better team on paper. Period. He chased the rock AP like he did at camp. <laughs> I feel that. Daniel Morgan was good. Was good. I'm not saying you have to wish. I'm saying he's getting hurt. Oh, <laughs> he's just like it's it's inevitable with with the offense between the offensive line and Alex Smith is inevitable. Rico didn't catch the 2K stream, but I know Lyric a demon and and Z build is already godly. Yeah, bro, Lyric. I made a new build. Lyric's build is so crazy. I made a new one. I was like, nah, bro. I'm y'all not about to leave me behind. Z build is crazy without badges, and lyric build is just ridiculous. Period. Like just, just in general, his build is like can do everything. So I literally made his build, took down. Uh, he has blocking. I don't, but I increased my pass because I'm more of a point guard anyway. So I'm trying to get the bullet passer and all of that. He doesn't care for that stuff. So I just basically I'm a worse paint defender, but a better playmaker, like better passer and all of that. But literally, I'm lyrics build, like same height. I asked lyric for everything. I made sure I was like, hey, you right handed. Because clearly my character, like, <laughs> clearly my character is just not doing what Lyric character doing. I made, I made Lyric's character to the T. I was about to steal his face scan if I had to. Or whatever face he has. Um, I'm starting AP in fantasy. That might be slick a good move. We'll see, though. How you think our secondary going to do today, brother Rico? Also, will Bryce Love? I doubt Bryce Love plays today. And I feel like our secondary is going to be pretty straight. Again, Kenny Galladay is their best receiver, I think, by far. I mean, I don't think Marvin Jones is that great. Um and, and 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 he's hurt. Kenny Galladay's hurt. Marvin Jones is extremely inconsistent. And our set and our corners have actually been a pretty good unit. It's been our defensive line, the best unit. And then corners are second. Linebacker third, safety fourth. Our corners are actually better than what I expected. Should we go after quarterback from BYU? I would love to get him. Also, first of all, what's up, James Fisher? Didn't say what's up to my boy when I reply. And what's good, Isaiah Powell and JC? What's good, y'all? The Dolphins defense isn't that bad. Yeah, no, the yeah the Dolphins defense is actually pretty good. Um, but I still just take Justin Herbert over. I don't know Carson Wentz scares me. But I mean that's really a man. I mean I I think the Giants defense, even though the Miami defense is underrated, I still think the Giants defense is better. I don't know though. I might be tripping. What's good? To Yo, man, can you shout out to my son? I have a young Skins fan over here. His name, Pierce. My dude is hype. What's happening, Pierce, man? What's happening, bro? Your boy Rico all the way from Atlanta. Shouting you out. You feel me? What's good, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. Appreciate y'all pulling up. I'm ready. Terry McClellan, yes, sir. Jaden, what's good? What's good? 
Let me see. Was this cool? Maybe if I win today, he will promote me. <laughs> Wait, is Bryce Love active, like suited up on the sideline active? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, Zach Wilson is a dog, bro. I love Zach Wilson. Any of those top four guys. Trevor Lawrence is out of reach, period. But Justin Fields, uh, Trey Lance, and Zach Wilson, I love them both. I love I me. Mean, I love them. I love all three of them. All three of them. Do you think Jeff Bidette is playing today? Yeah, I think so. He played uh, last game. He just didn't get any targets. There were some plays he was he was open, and Alex Smith just didn't see him. Like the this um, Terry McLaurin one where he was. It's not technically triple coverage because it was zone coverage. It wasn't like they literally were like, make sure y'all get. Trey, um, Terry McLaurin this play they probably lean the zone towards him though but that play where he caught it like like almost triple covered and then took it to the house Jeff Bidette was literally wide open down the other side of the end zone like other side of the field like there was literally nobody on him easy touchdown um what's up with Penn State oh I don't know I haven't kept track I didn't even watch college football yesterday because Georgia didn't play LSU Alabama didn't play and I didn't feel like watching Florida so I want Trey Lance and maybe two his brother. Two his brothers coming out. I thought two his brother was like a sophomore or something. Or am I tripping? Dolphins have a good defense. Yeah, they, yeah, definitely underrated. Zero four people sleeping on this QB class. I'm telling y'all, QB class. This is gonna be one of the ones to go down in history. You don't take one of these guys, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. That Pat Mahomes, Deshaun Watson one. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna regret it. We are 99 on defense next year if I switch the freeze. Um, FS, Wait, what's, what's FS? You talking about free safety? Wait, I skipped some comments. How you think our Madden ranking gonna be defensively? Oh yeah, I definitely think it should go up. It should definitely go up. Definitely. Come on now. I mean, now that our corners are better than even we expected, our defensive line is as dominant. I mean, they're inconsistent, especially without Matt Ioannidis. It hasn't been the same, but it's still a really good defensive line, honestly. Um, Cole Holcomb is better in coverage than I thought it would be. He's still not great, you know what I'm saying? But he's he's better. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, uh, Alex Smith, please limit the turnovers. Maybe we'll have a chance this game. Chalo isn't in his draft. Yeah, he's like a sophomore, I think, right? Rep it, maybe even a red shirt freshman. Repping my Alex Smith jersey for the first time since Houston game. What's good, Nav? What's good? Or Nave? Nave? Naves? Do you see Terry and Cam Sims both getting 100 yards again? It's all on Alex Smith. It's not whether or not they're open. They're going to be open. It's just whether or not Alex Smith can get them the ball. Scott Turner draws up the right offense. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Dolphins can stop the pass and run. Yeah, but I'm still, I, I don't know. I'd take Justin Herbert over Carson Wentz. I'd take Justin Herbert versus the Dolphins than over Carson Wentz versus the Giants. Me personally. What did what did Carson Wentz do against the Giants last time? I think he had some pretty decent fantasy points, especially after that uh that game winner to Boston Scott that fade route to somebody five five. Yeah, you're right. Carson is just bad, and Justin Herbert pretty much shocked everybody this year. Yeah, Justin, I didn't think Justin Herbert was that good coming out of college. I'm not gonna lie. But then again, when you go back and look at the tape, it's because Oregon's offensive coordinator was terrible. Their offensive line was terrible. Their their receivers were terrible. It was really hard to like really watch film on him and judge him and like accurately get a like a true assessment of him i'm not gonna lie it was really difficult um i remember acknowledging that last year when i was watching this film but i still didn't think he was that like i didn't i didn't know he's been balling out with maryland i got a feeling terry mcclellan's gonna have the biggest game yet that would be fun to watch Jaden mitchell is an eagles fan hey man like hey bro he chilling bro he cool in it he cool in it Cool in it. Let them live. Let them breathe. Um, where we at? Let me see. Uh, should I start Big Ben or Tua? Ben, who do they play? I think the I think the Steelers play somebody. Sorry this week. Hold on. For what I remember, I thought they played somebody. Sorry. Hold on. Let me check. The Steelers play. Oh yeah. Yeah, they play Cincinnati. And then Joe Burrow is a slanger. So that's even more fantasy points because Big Ben's going to have to throw to keep up with uh, or keep ahead of uh, Joe Burrow. Like when you're, when you're doing fantasy football, you also like actually have to account for the fact that the opposing quarterback is really good. And that's going to force the quarterback on your team, on your fantasy team, throw more because they have to keep up with the other um, quarterback. Like keeping up with points, yards and all of that, which is going to give them more fantasy points overall. More than likely, let's say just throwing picks, you know what I'm saying? So that's a perfect scenario. The Bengals defense is bad, and Joe Burrow throws for 40 times a game. So so 
um, Big Ben is probably going to have to throw 40 times in that game to just to keep up or stay ahead or whatever. So, I, th I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to win. But at the same time, I think Big Ben is going to throw the ball a lot just off of, again, bad pass defense in the Bengals and then good pass offense by the Bengals, which is going to force Big Ben to keep up. Um, how Earl Thomas don't have a job? Attitude. That's literally it. They just they think everybody think he's a locker room cancer. Um, second round Trask or Brevin Jordan? Personally, don't. I mean, again, my problem with Kyle Trask, he does everything well. I mean, of course, his decision making isn't perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's not great. It's not bad. It's not great. My biggest problem with Kyle Trask is that we'll be drafting another e-mobile quarterback again. We'll be drafting another guy that can't escape the pocket and make plays on the run. Whereas Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, and Zach Wilson can all do that very well. Um, I just don't want to go. I mean, I, I love Haskins. I hope he goes somewhere and is great for another team You know, when we end up trading them in the offseason or whatever. But I don't want to go immobile quarterback anymore. It's, it's, it's the times of change. You at least got to be Justin Herbert level. Like, I mean, even if you're not the fastest guy, you're fast enough and you're big enough to, um, to you know, when people try to grab you with arm tackles in the pocket, you can brush them off like big men and throw a pass like Carson Wentz. You, I mean, you have to pick one. You have to be really strong and slightly fast or fast. Like Kyler Murray, um, two is actually pretty um, underratedly fast. Or Lamar Jackson, Pat Mahomes is underrated, has underrated speed. Um... You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you have to pick one. Like it's just, it's just not gonna work if you're not at least one of those. I don't think, especially with um, we. I mean, I don't think our offensive line is like bad, but we don't have the best offensive line. Now maybe going into the off season, if we actually address free agency the correct way, maybe we could have a really good offensive line. Um, but we'll see. But still, either way, I don't want to go immobile quarterback anymore, and they're just a sitting duck in the pocket. You have to be Peyton Man and Tom Brady great for that to work. John Allen is actually really smart for his position. I never knew. Yeah, I've heard Jonathan Allen is really smart. Um, fun fact, Alex Smith is 5-0 against the Lions, but Matthew Stafford is 4-0 against us. Ooh, I like that. That's a great one. I would pin that if I didn't have the Vola kit uh, comment um, pinned up there. That's a, I like that. That's a great stat. I like that. I didn't know that. But yeah, Kyle Trask is cool. You know what I'm saying? I can see second round. Like, second round makes sense for him. I can see that, but I don't want him. Like, I don't want another quarterback that can't move. Brevin Jordan, I haven't even really watched Brevin Jordan, so I don't know. I just know I don't really like – I'm not high on Jamie Newman. And De'Ara King, I mean, he's either going to be boom or bust. There's no middle. He's either going to be Kyler Murray or he's going to turn into a converted receiver like Julian Edelman. That's what – I mean, to me, that's what I think. I just can't see a middle ground. He's too athletic, athletically gifted. To um too naturally talented. His arm is strong. He's extremely fast. It's like he's either I mean he's either Kyler Murray, because he's able to learn how to play quarterback, become accurate, make the right decisions, make good reads, all of that type of stuff. Or he can't do those things and he's just gonna be athletic enough to be a good receiver. It's just whether or not he can do all the mental stuff right. And there's I think it's literally there's no in between. No young cash, but you have to send a formal request and then me, Rico, and us mods have to look it over to see if you're worthy. Wait, what? What happened? What are we talking about? Oh, you're talking about Ma. <laughs> Honestly, with Kyle Allen, might as well try to develop him over Haskins. Haskins uses clout for stats instead of the game. He unfollowed Washington's Insta after he benched. What's good, Badger Wear? Um, I mean, I kind of see that. I'm, I'm not that down on Haskins' attitude. I really don't, you know, care about all of that, all the temper tantrums. I just kind of ignore it. Like, I don't, I don't hate it. I definitely don't like it. I don't acknowledge it. I just ignore it. So, but yeah, I understand like the the dis the disdain for how Dwayne Haskins you know conducts himself off the field. I definitely understand why people are apprehensive towards um you know keeping him here long term. I, I mean, I I get it. It doesn't bother me because I mean, as long as you're winning, Tom Brady's even worse than Haskins. I mean, he never unfollow people, but Tom Brady is like the biggest like. Boy, I wouldn't want to play with that guy. That man talks to you like you're like you're his child or something. Couldn't do it. Very condescending. But at the end of the day, he he wins, so people just don't care. Um, Xbox Series X stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Was good. Was good with the Xboxes. Hey, who got Xboxes in the chat, man? Let me know who's able to secure them. Xboxes and Playstations. Who's able to get them, man? Who's out here getting them? Some of the lucky few out here. 
besides the Wayne stare. Yeah, but again, that's like football stuff that he can work on. You can't teach the arm talent that Dwayne Haskins has. All, but again, Haskins is not mobile. You know what I'm saying? I think Haskins would do really well sitting behind somebody like a Big Ben or, well, not Drew Brees because Jameis Winston probably next up there. Um, like a Phillip Rivers for the Colts, maybe Matt Ryan and the Falcons sit behind them for a year or two. I think Dwayne Haskins is going to end up being great, honestly. Um... I'm in second guess. But then again, he might not. You know what I'm saying? Can't guarantee it. He's shown me nothing to guarantee he will be great. I just think off of, like, things you can't teach. You can't teach that arm talent. You just can't. But, you know, we're going to trade up in the draft for a QB anyway. What's good, Gene? Hey, man. I mean, whatever it takes. But I prefer to not have to give up future first-round picks to get a quarterback when we could just go get them by just not winning too many games for no reason. Which y'all want to make the – y'all want to win a division and go get go lose 40-10 to 10 in the divisional playoffs? We got swept by the Giants. Y'all think we're going to beat the Packers or the Seahawks? What are your thoughts on Desmond Ryder from Cincinnati? Uh, First of all, what's good, Jared? Let me write him down because I have no idea who that is. I told y'all I'm never going to lie on this stream. If I don't know, I'm going to tell y'all I don't know. I'm not about to be sitting here. You're like, yeah, you know, he got intangibles. He got good length, fast. Yeah, I'm not about to make up stuff on camera. Y'all not about to catch me down bad. Also, anyone in the chat help me. Ayuka Claypool. I'm going Claypool. I'm sorry. Go Claypool. I'm going Claypool every week. I don't care. I know he's very inconsistent with how much they use him, but when they do use him, I mean, he gets all of the touches. I mean, I even saw one play they gave him. It was a red zone. I think it was like second and goal or something. They gave him the ball out of the backfield. Like, they just love for him to touch the ball no matter what, however they have to do it. I'm starting Claypool. IU doesn't have that much of a usage. Plus, I think, uh, what's his face is back healthy? Tevin Coleman, I think. So, that's that's making it even worse for him. Uh, I'm starting Jordan Reed today. I feel that. I, hey, man, as long as Jordan Reed is healthy, I think what well, he had two touchdowns the game before he got hurt. Kyle Allen is fast but not strong enough. Kyle Allen could succeed with a good old line. Eh, I don't like Kyle Allen, but, I mean, I, I'm not mad at it. We can agree to disagree. And he's not fast. He's faster than Haskins. Everybody we're, everybody in this chat is faster than Haskins. I don't think Kyle Allen's fast, though. I de Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence, and Justin Fields are all considerably, very noticeably faster than Kyle Allen. So I'm good on easy mobile quarterback. Now, Kyle Allen is faster than Kyle Trask, I believe. I can give him that. Nick Chubb is playing today. Let's go. It's a Georgia Bulldog over there. Let's go, Skins. We're good, Chris. How you feel about Swift? What's good, Jada? I haven't really watched Swift. I just look up stats. So right now, I'm just a box score watcher. I can't actually analyze this game and be like, he's done this and that. To be completely honest with you, I haven't watched Lions games like that. Um, I've seen, you know, some things here and there. And so I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I just, I root for him. I can't root for him today because he's going against us. But, um... You know, I naturally just root for my, my Georgia Bulldog guys out there. Let's get this dub. Star Yuko or Swift? I don't know. It's hard with Swift because Swift has actually been the better fantasy back between him and Adrian Peterson lately. But I don't know. I feel like they're going to let Adrian Peterson do what he wants against us. I feel like Adrian Peterson, I think the Lions know he's going to be motivated. And they're going to get that man 20-plus carries a day. So I'd probably take Ayuko over Swift. I'm not going to lie. We're going to go for Trey Lance. He fits Ron offensive style. I agree. I agree. I'm down for either of those four guys. I'm ecstatic. I'm I'm throwing furniture when we draft either four of those guys, period. Lawrence, Fields, Lance, or Wilson. I'm throwing, I'm throwing furniture on live stream. We take anything else, I'd be like, that's cool. Like, we take Panessa well, even though I'm not sure if we even, I mean, how Cornelius Lucas is looking lately. We'll see. Um, and then I just hope Sadiq Charles is healthy enough to play left guard because I think he's very talented. And then Jamar Chase will be great, like really great. But who knows? Maybe Cam Sims is ready to break out. Or we can just address, I mean, Kenny Galladay, Juju Smith-Schuster, all of them are free agent options. Um, so I feel like we can fix receiving core. We can fix uh, offensive line all through free agency or later in the draft to get some more depth or pot high potential players, high, high, uh, high ceiling, low floor guys maybe. See what they have to offer. But I think early in the draft, which are guaranteed greats, I think we should go quarterback, linebacker, or safety. You know what I'm saying? Then address receiver, maybe third round. What's up, Rick? What's good, Armando? Do you know if we are able to play? Nah, Ruben Foster is done for the rest of the season. He's actually an unrestricted free agent, which is crazy. So, like, he's not even on the team anymore, technically. Like, after this season ends, once he's officially off IR because it's the new league year, I think it's in March. Um... He will officially be an unrestricted free agent. He can go to any team he wants. We don't have any hold on him. We didn't pick up his fifth-year option. That's why. That's how that happened. 
Haskins is just not as smart. I mean, I, again, he only played one year of college. And then he had to deal with four different offense designers, but he had to go from Jay Gruden's offense to Bill Callahan's to Scott Turner's, I mean, to uh, Kevin O'Connell's to Scott Turner's. So I feel like that set him back pretty far. Like, I mean, that's just difficult to adjust to. Honestly, this year, like I was saying, with how bad we treated him early this year and, and especially last year, I would have preferred for us to draft him this year and he played another year of college easily over whatever he went through last year. If anything, last year set him back. Um... So I definitely feel like um, I feel like he can learn all of those things with time again. If he sits a year or two behind somebody like Big Ben, and by the time one of those guys are ready to retire, he can step up for them and actually be pretty good. We'll see, though. Again, I'm not betting it because he hasn't shown me anything for me to put my life savings on the fact that he'll actually end up being a great quarterback. But just from what I've seen and pre from previous quarterbacks with great arm talent and just how I think Haskins looks, I think he'll end up going somewhere else and being great. I hope he does. I'm rooting for him. Um, so Rico feeling like a Gibson kind of evening. What's good, Remington? Hey, I can see that. Pick the start from IU, Claypool, or Swift. Oh, yeah, Claypool easily. I rank Claypool number one, IU number two, Swift third. Um, oh, my comments just kind of scroll to the bottom. I'm about to scroll up and try to see if I can catch all at the top because I skip people. But, yeah, I heard Akeem Tlaib is doing commentary. I got to pull up. Who's he doing it for? Please tell us it's our game. I don't see why it would be, but who who's uh, Akeem Talib doing commentary for? Please, because I'm pulling up that game. I'm pulling it up. I'm faster than Haskins. I'm running 10 40 Bro, we're all, everybody in this chat, I think, is faster than Haskins, honestly. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it is, but he's just, it's crazy. Uh, Let me see. Xbox Series S stand up. I'm still, dang, I'm behind. Haskins has a bad attitude. Yeah, I don't know. It's, he's weird. It's like not even like an angry or like really like necessarily you what you would consider an a hole. It was like a, it's like he I don't know he he it's like he, like I he acts like he deserves better type of thing. That's the kind of like vibe I get from him. Like the, the the tone, uh, I don't know. That's like his, oh, it's hard to describe. Like it's like he just he feel it seems like it seems like yeah. I'm not just gonna paint a picture of his character. It just seems like. He feels um not obligated. Um like like he like we like everybody owes him something type of thing. I can't I can't bro the word is like at the right there's close to obligated, but it's not. All good QBs coming out of college, no telling who's really gonna get far and play in the league. Most of these quarterbacks drafted the average backup to be best. To be honest. It, it, hey bro, it's weird. Quarterback is the hardest position to evaluate, I'm not gonna lie. Lions pretty trash will be straight. Haskins is fat. Haskins is arrogant. Haskins got trash accuracy. Get him out of here. Golly, man. What'd he do to you, man? What did he do to you, man? <laughs> Lions are the definition of trash. Hey, man, they got three wins and beat the Cardinals, bro. We can talk bad about them, but don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? Do not sleep on them boys. Rico for president. Hey, man, I'll try. Tom Brady is the GOAT for a reason, though, but I did beat him in Foxborough. Xbox Series stand up. No more leg injuries. PS4 game. Rico 2024. Appreciate it. We should start Haskins because he won his first game. I got an Xbox. Me. Yes, sir. Everybody get yes, sir. Everybody getting them. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Because I know a lot of people that were out here struggling can't get them. I'm glad, you know, y'all were able to get some of them. Because it's hard out here. You got to have, like, a plug. Or you got to be, like, you got to be in a cook group that, that has a bot running slots. Or you just got to be fire. You got to be fire with the manual, doing it just straight manual. Um, I know some people that, like, know people at GameStop that were able to preserve them one and stuff like that. Like, you got, it's, bro, it's weird. It's crazy. It's madness out here, man. And you can, hey, man, if you, if you, hey, you can resell them things for a lot of money if you want to. You don't have to keep it. If you're willing to wait. Till it restocks again in like March, you can sell a PlayStation for a thousand right now, easily. At least eight hundred and something. PS6, don't spam in the chat. Um, I mean, rather have Derek King over Steven Montez compared to stats. Oh yeah, I by far. I don't even have to look at stats to tell you that I don't like Steven Montez. He's literally he's the epitome of he's just a strong arm and a big body. And people just try to take that guy and mold him into a good quarterback, but I just I'm not confident in the fact that we can do that. I don't I've I haven't seen anything from him when I watched a little bit of tape I watched on him. He's just one of those guys that he, he doesn't have good he's not a good decision maker. He's not accurate. He doesn't know how to read defenses. Like everything that requires you to be good at being a quarterback, he doesn't have it. And I'm just, I don't know. I mean, I'm not mad at getting him. He was an undrafted for ages. It's not like we wasted a draft pick on him. 
So it's like, what do you lose? You know, bringing somebody with a strong arm and a big body, somebody that, you know, has a high ceiling but a very low floor and see what you can do with them. But, boy, I'd definitely take Derrick King over him. One of the Fox dudes picked us to beat the Lions, but by three, I just sent you a PS6. <laughs> it was a run. Let leg is okay. It was a run. Let us sit on our bench and learn from Alex Smith. It worked for Mahomes. Uh, Alex Smith is Kyle Allen's dad. Patrick Mahomes. I'm sorry I'm late at Chili's with the fam. What's good, Jones? You good? I appreciate you pulling up. Now you mobile. You're not even at home. I appreciate it. Should we take Mac Jones in the fourth? I don't know, bro. I'm going to have to watch more film on Mac Jones. The only thing I can say about Mac Jones is that he does have the best deep ball in college football right now. He has the best deep ball between Trevor Lawrence, any of those guys. The best deep ball. But other than that, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch more of him. I've seen Alabama games, but I haven't, like, literally watched him, like, watch this film. I've just watched Alabama games. Nick Foles is faster than that. Bro, everybody is, but I'm not going to lie. Tom Brady is faster than him. <laughs> yeah, bro. Literally, his 40 time was. Now that Haskins lost all that weight in the offseason, I think he's probably faster than Tom Brady. But the fact that I even have to like think about it just tells you that he's just ridiculously slow. It's not even it's not even funny. Y'all ready for a Pro Bowl performance? Austin Eckler needs to come back. Bro, I have him in one league too, Rich, and I'm just sitting here sick. That's crazy, Rich. In one league, I have Christian McCaffrey like you and Austin Eckler like you. And I'm just I'm just as sad as you are in that league, bro. Struggling. Just looking for any signs of hope. Uh, AP is going to do what Morris did to us last week. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, hey, maybe Chase Young got something out for him since that training camp thing that he did to him, stopped him at the goal line. But, I mean, if Alfred Morris did that to us last week, there's no reason Adrian Peterson shouldn't be able to. Like, there's literally. But, hell, maybe the defensive line is ready to step up. Maybe the linebackers are going to, you know, um, fill their gaps better, um, play their roles, be more disciplined, or whatever it takes to stop – and we got we have to set the edge better. Alfred Morris was out there getting outside on the edge sometimes. Like as much as I love Montez Sweat and Chase Young, they have to set that edge better. There's no excuse for Alfred Morris breaking it outside. Like, come on now. Like how we let that happen. I take Lance over Wilson because of mobility advantage. Yeah, Lance is more mobile. I think he's bigger, faster, and stronger than Wilson. But don't sleep on Wilson though. Don't sleep on Wilson. But Lance definitely has a higher ceiling than Wilson, easily. Stronger arm. More more he's faster stronger you know what i'm saying but at the same time i love zach wilson zach wilson is just you know how people say people just have intangibles like he just seems like he's that it guy like he just has it like he just he at the end of the day he gonna win no matter what deficiencies he has no matter if he's not accurate whatever you want to say about him at the end of the day he just seems like one of those guys that rallies the team and wins that's what zach wilson does i don't know what it is about him but it just seems like you can believe in a guy like that he just has that belief behind him that Deshaun Watson, that Clemson against Alabama, like, we can do this. I don't care. Against all odds, we can win type of thing. That's what Zach Wilson kind of gives me. But I love, I personally like Lance's. I'm a potential guy. I'm always the, I'm going to take the potential. And I'm going to trust our, uh, I'm going to trust our coaches and, 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 and all of that. And, and to develop our players and bring out the best potential. So I'm always higher ceiling guy. That's the reason I like Trey Lance more than Zach Wilson. But if you're ready to win today, you, you definitely take Zach Wilson first. But I wouldn't mind taking a Trey Lance and then bringing in a free agent quarterback and let Trey Lance learn behind them for a little while. You know what I'm saying? That's what kind of, you know, that's what I'm on. I prefer to let Trey Lance go out there day one, make his mistakes, and just go ahead. Because I think he can. Because, I, mean, I mean, just like Carson Wentz, where, how he was ready day one, quarterbacks at North Dakota State run pro-level offenses. He runs more of a pro NFL style offense than Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, and Zach Wilson run. Like, I mean, he's literally running I formation, single back. He's running bootleg off of play action in single back formations. He's out there ID and linebackers, changing protections. He's uh he's already uh, moving the safety to the right, knowing he's gonna throw it to the left. Like Trey Lance is already doing advanced NFL level things. Um, it's just whether or not he can become more consistent. Wait, y'all are saying nice catch Isaiah Wright and stuff. My link is broke right now. I'm trying to get on the USCA because main feed and alt feed on Vola Kid are always behind. Never care about the first play, though. Yeah, I'm behind. Let me see. All right, second and nine. Alex Smith. Oh, yeah, good catch. Good throw. Good throw. My Lakers are getting Dennis Schroeder. I saw that. That's wild, bro. And for, for, for our late first round pick and Danny Green, who didn't even do much for them, I don't understand how that was possible. And then they get Avery Bradley back. Because remember, Avery Bradley opted out. 
He was their best three and D. He was everything that that, that everybody hoped Danny Green would be. So that's like, I mean, that's bro, that is wild. That is like that getting Dennis Schroeder for Danny Green, and you basically technically replace Danny Green with Avery Bradley, is like that. That team is even better than last year. It's wild. Braun going back to back, basically. Entitled. Thank you, Derek. Dang, that was late though. That was way later. But yes, thank you. Entitled. Thank you. All right, the USCA link is up. Third and one. Good run by Gibson. Look at Gibson in the play on third down. That You know, that man never in on third down. But then again, we knew we were running the ball. Gibson's pass protection is terrible, and that's why he never he's never in on third down. But he's going to get that. He's going to get better and better, I hope. I think it's more mental than physical. It's not physical. Gibson is very strong. He can run over linebackers. He just has to get, become a better pass protector. Once he's able to do that, um, that was a pretty good block by Peyton Barber. We had Peyton Barber and Antonio Gibson in at the same time. Peyton Barber had a decent uh, block. Whatever, Rico, tuned in as you. What's good, Six Age? What's good? What's good? What's happening? First and 10, we're moving the ball, bro. Decent first drive. Alex Smith, Terry McLaurin wide open. Of course. Of course. Good throw. Easy catch. Y'all already know, man. Terry McLaurin's open all the time, bro. What's happening, Smokes? What's good, my boy? What's good, my boy? Oh, the stream froze. Now I got all happy and saying what's up to folks. And then now the stream done. Now the stream done. Let me see. Refresh, I hope. I don't want to fall behind. Where's the game? We at the pin comment at the top. Pin comment at the top. For watching the game, Vola Kid. Rico, why is what? Wait, what happened? Oh, you too. Bro, these games are never on Hulu. Oh, Hulu does have live sports. That's literally the point of the commercial. I've never, like, connected the dots. Like, I've heard the commercials. They's like, Hulu has live sports. Hulu has live sports. I never connected the dots that they actually have live sports. I've never even thought about going to Hulu to uh, watch uh, football. Even when, even when I, um, even when I had Hulu. Rico, why is King Sean Ahmad and not me? Oh, hey, that's actually a good point. My boy Jones has been here forever. You've been here even longer than King Sean. I got you, bro. I appreciate you stating your case. Wait, what just happened? I saw second and two. Third down. What just happened? Why, why was he so far behind the line of scrimmage? Did I miss the play? I looked away for a second. Can I be in too? If I score a TD. <laughs> um... So, Akeem Tlaib is the one. He's commentating our game right now. Yes. Akeem Tlaib, my boy, bro. I rock with Akeem Tlaib heavy, bro. Him and Marcus Peters, some of my favorite players in the NFL. Or were some of the, my favorite players in the NFL. I rock with them so heavy, man. Scott Turner. Oh, yeah, that play call was terrible. I just saw it on instant replay. Now we're third and 13. Nice job. Nice job. That looked like we're tanking. That play was so... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're tanking. We're tanking. We're tanking. We're tanking. We're tanking. We're tanking. You can't convince me otherwise. You can't convince me otherwise off of that. I don't know what that was. We're driving the ball. They can't stop us. And then we just start getting goofy. We just start getting goofy, sloppy. Yeah, nah, bro. We're tanking. We're tanking. Morgan Mo I haven't seen Morgan Moses get beat like that all season, to be honest. We're tanking. We're, we're tanking, bro. Bro, we got a key to leave commentating. Let's, yeah, man, let's go, man. That's my boy right there. Malpractice play calling, bro. I'm telling you, bro. There's no way Scott Turner called that with a straight face. He had to laugh when he called that play. Both of those plays, second and third down. How are we punting, bro? They couldn't stop us. That's wild that we're punting right now. That, that's, like, amazing to me. I'm, I'm confused. I mean, I rock, I'm rocking with this Akeem Tlaib commentator. No, what is he, a Lions commentator? Uh, um, color commentator? 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 Whatever. Um, cause if so, I'm about to start watching, uh, I'm about to start watching Lions games, bro. I rock with the Keep to Lead, bro. I hope, I want to, I want to catch him saying something funny. I want him to say something to Keep to Lead like, bro. I would love for Marcus Peters and the Keep to Lead to both commentate. Every time I hear to Lead's name, I think, uh, Ice Up, son. <laughs> yeah, Keep to Lead, my boy, bro. That's my dog right there. Him, Marcus Peters. I would, love, I would love for all two of them, Adam, Pac-Man, Jones, I'm going to need them to do a, a podcast together, man. They're my dog. Especially Pac-Man. Y'all already know Pac-Man. Southwest Atlanta, Westlake High School, greatest, bro. Y'all already know why I rock with Pac-Man so heavy. 
I would love for them three to have a uh, podcast together, man. I, I definitely tune in. I tell you that. He's Fox National Television, so I don't have to watch Lions games for the rest of the season. That's what y'all telling me. I can watch other teams play and still have a key to lead. We about to be the washed football team. I like. <laughs> I never heard of that one before. The washed football team. Yo, why did the Texans Browns game get delayed? I don't know what happened. Marcus Peters Cali accent is funny. I'm telling you, bruh, he's not even from Cali. It's the Midwest thing. I'm telling you. I always tell Cali people that y'all in the Midwest have basically the same accent. And they're always like they can't hear it. I'm telling you, bruh. The Midwest, Detroit especially, parts of Ohio, they literally sound like Cali. It's crazy. But he's from Ohio. He's not from Cali at all. Akeem Salib is not. He just he has a mid, that Midwest accent sounds like Cali a lot of the time. I'm not going to lie. It's crazy. Severe weather. Where? Especially, yeah, Detroit is literally Cali to me, bro. They just have different uh slang. I, I think it's the same Zach accent to me. They do the same dances in their music videos. Um, Their beats are, like, very similar. You can tell, like, Detroit beats are heavily influenced by Cali, but, like, they, they like, it's, like, more fast-paced, different instruments. But just when we do okay, we, be we become the scariest of them all, our true self. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, I'm right with you. I've been here longer than both of him, longer than you had me didn't show. Hold on, let me see my boy Young Cash Boy. Okay. Hey, but you, you are on the gaming channel. I, just off the strength of that, I got you. Detroit and Oakland are so alike. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. It's crazy. You put, I'm telling you, you get All Star JR and Marshawn Lynch in the room. I'm pretty sure they almost sound the same. I'm pretty sure. You get Marshawn Lynch and All-Star JR in the room, bruh. How's Gibson doing? He's looking decent. We haven't done much yet, so it's hard to, you know, really give an accurate statement on that. But, yeah, Detroit and Oakland do seem like the same city. Hey, can anybody tell me why Baltimore and Philly look the same in pictures? Like, if you don't hear anybody talking, if you don't hear the crowd atmosphere, why? I never know. Like, if it's just a picture of one of those two cities, Aqib Tlaib from Texas. He's from both. He's from both. He like I think he was back and forth or something. But most of like most of the stuff he went through in life, like his uh I think it was his grandma shot his dad or somebody through a wall. That was in Ohio. Like he's like I think he's from Ohio and he lived in Texas for a long time. I think he moved to Texas while relatively young. Something like that. Oh, Chase Young, not off sides, my boy. Not off sides, my boy. Philly dudes beards give it away. Yeah, basically. Yeah, if you're just looking at a picture and you don't see the Benny Siegel beards and you don't hear anybody talking, talking about you drawing and all of that type of stuff, you I, I honestly don't know if it's Baltimore or Philly, bro. I, I have no idea. Their buildings look the exact same. Um, I thought Marcus Peters was from Oakland. He is. No, Marcus Peters is from Oakland. He's from Oakland. Philly dudes beards give it away. That is very true. Rico, we need to have a mob meeting at halftime. This is ridiculous. <laughs> nah, Young Cash Boy really been here for all the time, though. He said, uh, what's the channel? Oh, go to Volakit. Baltimore is in Maryland. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. But they, I don't know why their buildings look the exact same. Look at Daniel Jones going crazy already. I see you. Go get him. Go get him. Go, go, go win some games so y'all can't so they can't draft a new quarterback over you. Let's go. Daniel Jones is the future franchise quarterback for the Giants. I need the Giants to win as many games as they can for the rest of the season. I am rooting for them guys. Oh, uh, here go DeAndre. Who did DeAndre Swift just hurdle like that? Was that DeShays Everett? <laughs> Was that DeShays Everett? What's good, Rico? Another win for Notre Dame riding high. What's good, J Mar? Oh yeah, you, you college on Saturdays, you're on Cloud Nine. Sundays come sad. I'm, I, bro, I feel sorry for you, bro. I feel sorry for you. I feel that, man. That's how I am with my Georgia Bulldogs until the last two weeks. We tanking <laughs> off the hurdle. Off the hurdle, we tanking. Then off the hurt, off the hurdle. Should have started Damian Harris. What does he already got fantasy points? I, I don't even have to say anything for that. Let's see what the flag is. There's nothing I can say about that. I don't know what y'all want me to. I don't. I don't know what y'all want me to tell y'all on that one. Like, what, what? What analysis can I give that? What analysis can I give that play? 
It's the historic district. Both cities been around since the 1700s. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. But they have the exact same building structures, bro. Their buildings look the exact same. And they both look just as dangerous. They look both equally just as dangerous. I think they're both top, top five uh, murder rate. Like, when it comes to crimes per person, I think they're top five. Fuller got smoked. Oh, that's all. Oh, Fuller. That was you on the ground? That was you on the ground, my boy. Boy, Kendall Fuller didn't have a, a good last game either. Last game was his worst game. And already getting burnt like that, this is by default his worst game of the season. So he's already done worse than last game. Who the announcers, they stink. Hey, bro, don't talk about my boy Akeem Tlaib like that, bro. He's just starting, bro. Artificial turf is garbage. It, oh, yeah, we already know that. That's a figgity. That's a figgity fact. What you guys expect? A Super Bowl team? <laughs> it was good, Yoshi. Starting to look dark already, man. This D blows. You watch the fans need to calm down. Bro, our D don't give a F no more. I, bro, I, I've been telling y'all since week like three or four, I think we're secretly tanking. Y'all the ones that's been out here like, hey, man. <laughs> y'all the ones every week. Like, we got this. That was clearly man to man. I want Dwayne to start. We're going to lose. Now don't hate on our D. Now I don't think we're that bad. I mean, I think that was just a really bad singular play. Like, I think that's isolated. I don't think Kendall Fuller is just going to do that all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think our defense is going to have necessarily a bad game. They've actually been playing well lately. They haven't played up to where they should be playing, though. Like, they're not the best defensive line in the NFL lately. Like, they just have not been doing that. And that's pure fact. Like, that's just straight up. That's like, that's just pure fact. But... Um, they're not terrible. I, again, that's just an isolated play. That's just one, you know, Kendall Fuller got diddy bop. We'll see what happens. See if we bounce back. Their QB is not is too good to not get any pressure. I agree. I kept saying, bro, we're better than them everywhere except for quarterback, I think. Maybe you can argue that our running back is better. The running backs are better. But we're literally better than them in any way, in any, any way you look at football except for uh, quarterback. And at the end of the day, that might be all that matters. Sweat and Chase can't get off blocks. Delusional. Wait, what would you say? Delu I'm not saying we're going to lose this game, but I'm also not delusional to think that we're better than the Lions. I mean, on paper, we're better than them everywhere but quarterback. But sometimes, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. That's why I really want to go quarterback so high in this draft. Because we've seen that teams with better teams and worse quarterbacks lose the teams with worse with um, teams that aren't as good and better quarterbacks. It just It's a thing. It happens. Quarterbacks win you games. Now, also, now, of course, quarterback isn't all of it. Like, we're going to need Scott Turner to be better. We're good. Like, that's that's going to have to happen. We're not going to go anywhere with Scott Turner calling plays like he is now. But I'm telling bro, quarterbacks matter, bro. Quarterbacks matter. Your, your stream speed is on 5G fast. What you mean? We have trailed more than any team all season. This head scratching. Bro, it's terrible, bro. It's terrible. It is quite terrible. I'm not going to lie. Not gonna lie, we we have looked pretty sorry. <laughs> we have looked quite sorry. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we have been quite the sorry this season. I'm surprised he actually uh went where he went with that return, but hey man, got us to the 26 yard line. That's better than a touchback. You know what I'm saying. Y'all, I'm going to make my reaction video. I don't like that call on there was a penalty on number 17 offense pass defense. He shoved Kendall Fuller. Let me look. At, I'm looking at the replay again. Let me see. Yeah, I think he ran into him more than pushed him. But, I mean, I see. I don't know how that's on Kendall Fuller. Like, that, now that, like, was the flag on Kendall Fuller? Because that's crazy. If the flag is on Kendall Fuller, I don't even, I definitely don't get that. But, you know what I'm saying? If Ron isn't tanking, then he needs to go. <laughs> All right, running the ball again. Running the ball. Antonio Gibson doesn't go down easily. Okay. Got, got three yards, almost three. Yeah, that was a flag on Fuller. Yeah, they hate it. Nah, that definitely wasn't a flag on Fuller, though. Nah, I definitely agree with that. And I do agree that, if anything, it was a flag on, it was a flag on the receiver. But um, it definitely wasn't a flag on Fuller. Second to seven. Just let me pass. We lost, y'all. We need to take a shot. I'm right with you, Ivory. We definitely, hey, man, you trying to win this game, you got to throw deep balls. At least scare the safeties into playing back. Little underneath route to J.D. McKissick. Look at, J look at J.D. Look at J.D. 
Getting getting big on him. Getting big on him. Get him, JD. Get him. I don't know who Coleman is, but he go out bad, boy. Fully tried to cut him off because he got turned around and burnt. Yeah, that, he looked dark out there. That was a dark play for Fully. Walker meant we need to take a shot of alcohol. Nah, <laughs> nah, he talking about <laughs> talking about going deep. I like a keep to lead. Yeah, keep to lead, my boy, bro. I haven't been listening. I need to listen more because I really rock with him. Any game he's commentating on, I'm watching. Dang, I missed what he said. What did he say? Everybody saying he funny. What did he say? Dang, I missed it, man. That's my boy, too. Bro, he does have a Midwest Cali accent. He does not sound like Texas. He don't sound nothing like Texas. I don't hear any ounce of country in there. Tlaib ain't been strong. We need to run in the ball face mask. Can we try to run outside? It'd be nice. It'd be nice to run outside, but who knows if we're actually going to do it. Let me see. We do have speed. Oh, play action. Alex Smith. Okay. Dump it off to the running back. Okay. First down. Tlaib was gassing up McKissick. Ah, oh, I missed it. Let me see if I can hurry up and go to another link and try to catch it. See if I go far behind enough. Because I do want to hear that, bro. That's my... Dang, man, I missed it. I know a lot of people like that aren't Burgundy and Gold or Lions fans that are gonna watch that are watching this game literally for a keep to leave. Okay, Terry McLaurin. Okay, okay, scary Terry. I like that play call to Terry. I like that. I like that. He's yo. Look, get the ball to your best playmakers, bro. Now, Scott Turner had some terrible play calls, but we got to give him that. That was Those are pretty good play calls, and that was a great block by Logan Thomas, just to let y'all know. Y'all didn't know? Logan, Logan Thomas, at the very least, Logan Thomas is a great blocker. A way, he's a better blocker than Jeremy Sprinkle. He's a way better blocker than Jordan Reed and Vernon Davis ever were. So, um, you know what I'm saying? All right, Antonio Gibson. Now, I am tired of these weird spread concepts, how we run the ball. Can we please just go in eye formation and just block everybody, block man-to-man, -man and, and just and just run down people's throats? I would like to do more of that instead of this, like, delayed handoff out of shotgun that we do a lot. It just doesn't seem to be working. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. You know what I'm saying? Please, Scott Turner, please infuse some of that into your offense. I would I would appreciate it a lot. And my stream froze. Lord have mercy. Why? What's up, Street Scores? What's up with the slow start? Bro, what's good down south? VA, man. I don't know. Bad vision by Gibson. He didn't get the cut back. I was like, he was probably doing too much. I didn't see it. My stream keeps freezing, so. Scott is so inconsistent, bro. He is, bro. There's no middle. It's either a really bad play call or a pretty good one. But we haven't seen too many great play calls from him either. It's just a pretty good one. The rare great one. And then a lot of just, what was that? What was that? Dang, they blitzed Alex Smith like crazy. Well, we're in field goal range. At least Alex Smith didn't take a sack. Because that, that could have been outside of field goal range right there. <laughs> that man, Akeem Tlaib, said they were able to mess that play up. He didn't even try to find a bigger word like disrupt the play, nothing. That's my boy Akeem, bruh. That ball almost got there, though. Alex Smith threw that off his back foot with pressure in his face. That wasn't a, that wasn't a terrible throw. I mean, I feel like Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, and Trey Lance may have made that throw. But, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't terrible. They're trying to hurt Smith again. Not nah, Dustin made it. 7-3, y'all. 7-3, y'all. 7-3, y'all. Look at us. Look at us. On the board. On the board. Not terribly behind. Behind, but not terribly behind. You know what I'm saying? QB playing good enough. Good QBs make that play. Yeah, I agree. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, Trevor Lawrence, and Justin Fields could all make that play. But you know, well, we'll see. What channel is it? Uh, go to Volat. Where I don't. I'm not in Maryland. I'm in Atlanta, so I can't tell you what channel. Plus, I don't know what like service provider. But we got the link, the pin comment at the top. Go to Volat Kit. That's what, what a lot of us are watching it on. That's what a lot of us are watching it on. A day of field goal. It's about to be that, man. Can't get it on Fox. 
Y'all don't know, I'm not watching it on cable. I'm watching it through a link on Google Chrome. Or oh, you're in Cali? Yeah, whew, I don't know. I don't know. Just go to Volakit, though. We, the, go to the pin comment at the top, the one by Rich NGL. Go to that one. I'm watching all Yahoo Sports app. Yeah, yeah, everybody help him out, bro. Everybody help my boy out. You know what I'm saying? Support him in the chat. Support him in the chat. Guide that man. Guide that man. Yo, USCA IP feed is broken today. It just keeps lagging, falling behind. I keep having to refresh it. I'm in Iowa, so I get the Green Bay game. I don't even know what game I'm getting. I'm not even on Sunday ticket today. I don't even care about watching other games right now. I normally do, but right now I'm just chilling. I'm on NFL app. My TV guy says the game is on, but that is showing golf. <laughs> Boy, they hate it on you, man. You ain't deserve that. Dwayne gets sacked more than anyone. Nah, I mean, I mean, I can see that, but also Dwayne dealt with the worst. I mean, the first four games was our worst offensive line we threw out there. Wes Martin was starting, um, Cornelius Lucas. I mean, I mean, Jerron Christian was out there, and he wasn't terrible, but Cornelius Lucas is clearly better. Brandon Sheriff was hurt. Now that Alex Smith first game when Kyle Allen got hurt, the Rams game. That was the worst offensive line performance by our entire offensive line this year. But those first four games. Where Dwayne Haskins, if you go by quarterback, Dwayne Haskins has had the worst offensive line out of any of the quarterbacks. Because the past, like, five weeks, the offensive line has actually been pretty good. At least straight. Not terrible. Not what Dwayne Haskins dealt with. But again, that Kyle Allen-Alex Smith game with the with the Rams was the worst offensive line game by far. It wasn't even close. It, was, it wasn't even close. And they were they were terrible the first four games, but they weren't that bad. We've had 10 plays in plus territory. Are they playing a little baby in Detroit? Yes, sir. We got Atlanta and Detroit. I'm surprised they didn't play the uh, We Paid song. Because that's a Detroit rapper on it with Lil Baby in Detroit. They should have done that. would have made a lot of sense. I don't even like the song, but that would have made sense. We should just draft an entire O-line. <laughs> Our O-line isn't that bad because the Texans and Browns game got delayed. Dwayne has toddler feet, bro. His mechanics are bad. Again, I think all of that is fixable. But who knows? It may not be fixable. You know what I'm saying? Come on, defense, stand up. We'll see. They hit us with a bomb. We couldn't stop them on the run, and then they hit us with a bomb, but we'll see. Y'all are so quick to judge. OMG defense. Well, what happened? What happened? What happened already? I, gotta, I must have to refresh because I don't see it. Defense is playing poorly. What's going on? This zone defense ain't it. What did I miss? Tom Brady wide open to Cameron Break, boy. That's a pretty good game to watch. If I wasn't a Burgundy and Gold fan, I'd probably be watching the Buccaneers and uh, Panthers game. That's probably the best game on right now. It's an L. You don't miss nothing. Good pressure on Stafford. They not doing that? They not doing that right now? All right, play action. There we go. They blitz. They blitz. There we go. Oh, and then they're going to call the flag. They're going to call roughing the passer. Man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, they're going to call that. That man, Kakeem Salib said it was set up perfect, not perfectly. I see him, bro. Why did Kevin Pierre Lewis go so high though? Yeah, you can't go high there, bro. You can't go high there. Like I don't even know why he did that. At least if you're gonna go high, use your arms to do it. I mean, he straight up went like this to him, like trying to. That's not it, bro. That's not it. I still I don't like the call still, but it's like why why would you even put yourself in position for that? Like for them to call that? Don't go high. You just know don't go too low, don't go too high on quarterback. Just don't do it. I don't agree with the call. But at the end of the day, Kevin Pierre Lewis, don't put yourself in those situations. It's literally that easy. And you just literally can't do that. That's dumb. I'm more mad at Kevin Pierre Lewis than the refs on that. You just literally can't do that. That wasn't smart. There was nothing smart about that. Oh, good run stop. Who was that? Pain? Between Pain and that was Pain and Settle in the middle that made that run stop right there. Only a pick up a one. Good job. Salib is a tricky situation, but KPL knows better for sure. Stupid, so stupid.
Good call. He was an idiot for that play. Bro, you just can't. You can't do that, bro. You literally can't do that. Can't go up high like that. Look at Swift, bro. I mean, I can't I can't root for him because we're going against him. But to see a Georgia Bulldog out here balling. Because honestly, bro, when Georgia Bulldogs go to the league, we typically don't end up good. That's why people draft Ohio State. They draft USC. They draft Clemson. They draft Michigan. They draft Alabama, Florida, LSU. I don't know what it is, but Georgia players, they get to the NFL. They're either troublemakers or injury prone, like a Roquan Smith. And I just, I don't know, man. Seeing a Georgia player do well. It, it makes me happy, bro. I can't even hide it, bro. Cause we don't, we just don't make NFL players. I can admit that it just doesn't work out. I think now we will start to now that we're starting to get more consistent five stars. Cause we've never recruited like Alabama, not literally until the last two three years. We haven't been recruiting like Alabama until like we got Kirby Smart. Period. We would get the occasional five star, but now I think are like these young guys coming up. I think we'll finally start producing NFL talent. But nah, Georgia. Georgia has not produced great NFL talent. I can admit that. He said, stop recruiting hoodlums. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We have not produced NFL talent. This is coming from a Georgia fan. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm completely objective about it. If you can name me a bunch of great Georgia players right now, I'll take it. <laughs> we got we got Heinz Ward. I mean, we're going against Matthew Stafford right now. We're going against Matthew Stafford and DeAndre Swift. Yeah, we're running back you, but guys can't stay healthy. I Me, mean, I love Todd Gurley, can't stay healthy. Nick Chubb can't stay healthy. Sony Michelle hasn't even broke out yet, can't stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Mega? What's good? Third and four, what's good? Y'all gonna stop them? Y'all gonna clutch up? What y'all gonna do about it? What y'all gonna do about it? Third and four, what y'all gonna do? No, nah, there's no way Matthew Stafford gonna run it. Oh, that shovel was horrible. Oh, oh, what was that shovel? Oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That was nasty. Why did you shovel that? Why didn't you just throw that like normal? Oh, never mind. It didn't matter. They weren't on the same page. Matthew Stafford was throwing it to, well, from his point of view, to the left. Marvin Jones went to the right. What's good, Lawrence? My boy Lawrence to pull it up. We need Ionitis. He needs to stop getting injured. Wake fake punt. Oh, they just tried to draw us off sides. Okay. Bro, I swear we the only team to get tried like this consistently. We stay getting tried. Especially those first five games. They were trying us like crazy. Pulling out all kinds of frisky moves. Going forward on fourth down fake punts. Uh, our pass rush just isn't there for our ends. Chase has got to be hurt. Hey, over here acting like QBs are not NFL players, and if you hit them hard, you're going to die to train to take hits. <laughs> and the bro, I don't know why we do it, but we protect the quarterback a little too much, in my opinion, also. I agree with that. But, hey, man, the rules are the rules. Once you know the rules, I buy by them. Again, I'm not mad at the refs at all. I'm way more mad at Kevin Pierre-Lewis for that hit. That was just like, you know the rules. Don't do that. Hold my breath. You talking about on that punt return? I would have been irate if that worked. <laughs> Live it, man. Live it. I'm kind of hungry. Probably going to hit up some food at halftime real quick. You know what I'm saying? That boy Steven Sims is on the field? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Should I get the bleach now or later? <laughs> I'm going to make some tenders to have you. I'm hungry. I have some food to heat up, but I'm going to wait till at least halftime to do it. I'm not just going to leave some random commercial break. Calling it now, TDT. Stafford should have went down. They should have blew the whistle. That was a terrible flag. The Stafford fighting to break loose. So, oh, Tyler's a Lions fan. Hey, man, welcome, bro. Welcome. Why is J.D. McKissick running people over today? Okay, I like, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. He bleeding. Where can we live stream this? We got the pin comment at the top. Pin comment at the top. Oh, yeah, let's go, Giants. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Let's go, Giants. Yes, sir. Get, get outside that top five pick so y'all can't get a quarterback. I need Daniel Jones to be y'all future quarterback for the rest of my life. Let's go. Oh, Matthew Stafford is hurt. Oh, wow. His throwing hand is hurt. Let's go, Giants. Let's go, Giants. Way to go. Win this game. Win these pointless games. Win these pointless games, Giants. Let's do it. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Having thumb issues with his throwing hand. Lying O-line, holding like... <laughs> Chase out here getting double teamed every game. Non-contact injury. We got to get a good draft pick. We just got, we just won the game when Staffy got hurt. Chase Young, don't wink, play soon. All right, let me see. So I'm going to pull up another game. Like I'm going to pull up that Giants game to watch. Hmm. There's a lot of 4 p.m. games. Are there more 4 p.m. games than 1 p.m.? They do that? Isn't it normally like 7 1 p.m. games and maybe like 3 or 4 4 p.m. games? It's more 4 p.m. games than 1 p.m. games. What? Why? What happened? How'd that happen? Um, pull up the Buccaneers and Panthers. I'm gonna need. All right. So as far as draft picks go, I need the Jaguars to beat the Packers, even though it's, I know it's very unlikely. I need the Texans to beat the Browns. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need. Um, I need the Panthers to beat the Buccaneers. Yes, yes, yes. I need the. I don't know the Dolphins and and Chargers. Both of them have their quarterbacks, so I don't care. Um, I need the Broncos to beat the Raiders. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't care about Cardinals or Bills. I need the 49ers to beat the Saints because they're probably going to replace Jimmy Garoppolo. I've heard that the 49ers are already scouting Zach Wilson, so we need the 49ers to win every game for the rest of this season. Um, Bengals and Steelers don't matter. doesn't matter. Ravens. We need the Patriots to win some games. Yeah, we need the Patriots. We don't want the Patriots ending up with Justin Fields. Can't do that. Can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Trey Lance going to go top 15. We should be okay making the playoffs. When you make the playoffs, you're not picking in the top 15. Teams with 11 wins pick before you just because you won the division. That's how the draft works. This is the only way I have to watch this game right now. This And when Red Zone cuts in, oh, my boy Kyle, po baby. And NBA draft is Wednesday. Is it really? I don't even plan on watching that. I'm watching it on Volakit, y'all. The pin comment at the top. The pin comment at the top. Watch it on Volakit. Watch it on Vola Kit, y'all. Is Kaepernick done? You think Rico? I think he's yeah. I think he don't. I don't. I don't even think he wants to play anymore. He got that money, the settlement money and Nike money. I think he's straight. Thank you for a link to live stream that actually works. Subscribe, man. Appreciate that. Hey, man. Shouts out to Rich who put the comment up there, and I think Dequavius. I still. I think it was Dequavius that gave us the link. I didn't know Vola Kit existed till like a few weeks ago, when another person, just like y'all in the chat, um, another Street Scores family member came up and pulled up and gave us the link. Draft order doesn't matter if a guy's in reach. Teams will just trade up to get him. But I prefer not to do that. Like, do y'all just y'all just like giving away third and second round picks for free first round picks? Y'all just like doing that. Y'all just like. So y'all think y'all think winning two more games this season for no reason is more worth than keeping your second or third round pick or maybe even your fourth? Lamelo to DC. He's not making it that far. I don't think. I don't know. I hope for y'all's sake. I'm not a Wizards fan, so I hope for y'all's sake that y'all get LaMelo. That would be great. Then again, y'all have Bradley Bill. How would that work? How would that work? Y'all have Bradley Bill, who's a shooter. John Wall, who's the point. How does LaMelo fit in that? LaMelo's defense is terrible. His offense is going to be great, but his defense is terrible. I don't know. I don't know how LaMelo would work. I mean, that's an exciting pick, but I'm not sure if it's the one that works the best. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Haskins is uh, is active. We not blocking it all. Alex is super trash. All right. Why did he throw that so bad? I know there was pressure, but why did Alex Smith throw that dud like that, bruh? I don't care how much pressure you have. That was a dud. I don't care, bro. That was <laughs> Lamelo could be the future. We could trade someone. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. See, now nah, that's a good strategy. I see that. Y'all take Lamelo. Figure it out afterwards. Take the best scorer in the draft and then figure out the rest later. I can see that. I can see that. I'm not mad at that strategy. I'm not mad at that strategy at all. 
Better question for me is why is QB getting hit on a zero on a zero drop back? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Ryan Anderson hurt his knee. That's so random. I didn't even know he was in the game. Oh, let me pull up the Buccaneers and Panthers. Okay. Pull that up. Gronk is washed up. He sure is. Um, put that over there. Let me mute it. I don't need to be here in three games at once. Let me get move the Eagles Giants over here. Uh, where is it at? All right, cool. Eagles. Dang, the Giants up fourteen to three. Let's go, Giants! Yes, sir. Daniel Jones is the future. Yes, resign that man. Thirty mil a year. Let's go, Giants. Let's go. Don't draft a quarterback. Don't do it. You don't need one. Daniel Jones is an MVP, bro. Y'all got it, bro. Good job, Giants. Good job. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Eagles nervous. Let's go, Giants. That's how we do it. Get Fall out that top five pick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And pay him 30 mil a year right now. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Get that man Daniel Jones 30 mil a year. Best quarterback in the division. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. Get that dub today. They nervous. The Eagles nervous. They are really nervous right now. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the Eagles right now. Y'all are sorry. Y'all are sorry. There's no excuse. Best QB in the league, bro. Let's go, bro. I'm the biggest Daniel Jones fans for the rest of this season right now, bro. For the rest of this season, I'm a Daniel Jones fan. Period. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Bro, Daniel Jones is the greatest to ever do it, bro. Daniel Jones is the greatest to ever do it. He the future, bro. Tell him. Daniel Jones is the best quarterback out here doing it, bro. Easily, bro, you had me dying. <laughs> yeah, bro, these Giants, bro, let's go, man. I always believed in y'all. I believed in y'all since week one. Y'all can do it. Here we go. What's wrong with this run defense? I don't know, bro. The defensive line is just not the same. I don't know what's going on lately. I would say Matt Ioannidis, but Matt Ioannidis isn't even a good run defender. He's our best pass interior pass rusher, but he's not even a good run defender. Like I don't even understand. I don't know what's going on, honestly. I'm going to have to watch film on just the defensive line and see what is going on. Oh, we let Adrian Peterson do that to us. Oh, we let Adrian Peterson do that to us. Okay. That's what we doing today. We let Adrian Peterson run over us like that. Oh, let's go, Panthers. Let's go. No quarterback for you. No quarterback for you. Let's get this dub today, Panthers. Let's get this dub today, Giants. Who else? Who else? Who else playing today? Who else I got a root for today? Let's go, Jaguars. What's the score looking like? I feel like I'm about to be very disappointed when I look at this score. Oh, I can't see it yet. They don't have it yet. Let me see what these giant. Let me see what these Jaguars hitting on today. Boy, they just moving the ball so easily against us. Nine yards of play. Come on now, like, why are we? Why are we like this? Why is it this hard for us right now? Let's go, DJ Moore. I always believed in you. I always believed in you. <laughs> Let's go, Panthers. Let's go. Time to step up. Time to show up and show out, Panthers. Let's go. You two Giants, time to show up and show out, bro. Show up and show out. Rico, what you be saying? Hard way, strong way, the long. Oh, yeah. I rock with you the long way, the strong way, not the wrong way. It's, it's an Atlanta thing. Like we say, we rock with somebody the long way. No, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I must have jinxed the Jaguars. As soon as I turn on the game, I see the Jaguars are winning. Aaron Rodgers, 80 yard touchdown. Yeah, I'm throwing that game. I'm throwing. I'm turning that game off. Jaguars, I gotta play defense. Come on now. We need better from y'all, man. We need better from y'all. Fun fact: We are number one against the pass. We were. We <laughs> we were. I don't know if after this game, after that Kendall Fuller getting burnt like that. Ooh, that drop. Yes, sir. That drop. Yes, sir. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Can't handle it. But yeah, Rich is long way, the strong way, not the wrong way. 
It's an Atlanta. You know, I don't know how every city does, but I know Atlanta people like the rhyme. Everything we do, everything is rap is rhyming. Ain't no cap in my rap. There's always some type of phrase. Long way the strong way, not the wrong way. Um, Darby. Wait, what happened with Darby? Am I a play behind? We got Gucci, man. I think we secretly tanking. Bruh, hey, you can't convince me otherwise. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. Until I see, until further notice, I think we are. Y'all are rappers. Y'all know nothing. No <laughs> yeah, we do talk. We do. Atlanta people do talk like they're rapping a lot. And it's kind of like an old thing. You know how old people, like, it's like kind of, it's like a jive thing. Like, I don't know. That's the best. That's the only way I know how to describe it, bruh. I really don't. It's like old school rhyming. I, I have to find a video. Or find, because I don't really talk like that. I don't, I, I really don't, like, all the time. I say long way, strong way, not the wrong way. And no cap in my rap and stuff like that. But, nah, it's like, I forgot. Thug said something that was hilarious. I was like, oh, yeah, that man is an Atlanta old head through and through. You can't take when you're just bad. That's a good point. Our first draft pick should be O-line, not a cute. How do we allow that? Who got burnt there? How do we allow that? Bro, but after we take O-line, who's the quarterback? Who's the quarterback after we take O-line? Who's the let me know? Please tell me who the quarterback is. Because it can't be anybody on this team. It ain't it, 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 nobody on this team currently. <laughs> it's nobody on this team. And Haskins doesn't count because they already said they gave up on him. But not so well, but who throwing the ball exactly? And again, Cornelius Lucas is better than what we thought, so. It was Jimmy Moreland. Ooh, boy. As soon as I, ju I just said in Pedro's stream yesterday that our corners have actually been pretty decent. Like, they've been pretty good. I think I said that earlier today in this stream, too. Our corners have actually been our second best position group. It's been defensive line. Who's been underperforming slightly? And then it's been our corners, then linebackers, then safeties. But now, I don't know what's going on this game. I think this is our worst corner game. This is our worst corner game easily, bro. I forgot to keep Tlaib was commentating. I haven't been listening. They didn't give up on Haskins. You sure? You sure? You sure? It looking like a lot of give up to me. I was on the same page with you, Rigo. Nah, I, I think I think they're done. I told you it's not even it's not on the field. It's not mechanics. It's not being being able to read defenses, knowing the offense. It's attitude. It's off the field issues and stuff like that. I took Lions, Steelers, and Ravens. Follow my bets if you want to make some money today. That man came in here not playing, boy. Cover two, Kendall blown coverage. Okay. Matt Patricia out here saving his job. Yeah, there's a lot of Lions fans that want us to beat them because they want Matt Patricia fired and they want a high draft pick so they can get a quarterback. But, uh, hey, man, it's not looking like it's going their way right now. It's funny. You got a lot of Burgundy and Gold fans that want to lose this game for picks. You got a lot of Lions games that want to lose this game for picks. We're going to have a lot of games like that this season. You got the Bengals we're going to play. It's going to be like that. Each team rooting for each other's team. We play the Cowboys again. It's going to be like that. When we play the Eagles, it might be like that. You know what I'm saying? I told you, regard defense is trash. We play too much zone. We aren't getting enough pressure. Fuller was in bad position. Yeah, I can't argue against it, man. It's terrible, bro. It's, it's bad. There's no excuses. We're just bad. Jack DeRio's calling up these weird zones. Our defensive line isn't getting the pressure they're supposed to. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. It's just, it's just a bad look. It's a very bad look right now. Let's go, Giants. Let's go, bruh. Let's go, man. They out here showing up, man. I want to win in the long run. I'm right with you. I want to win next year. I want to win Super Bowls. I don't care about winning this weak little division. For what? So you can brag. So y'all can brag to y'all friends at work. <laughs> it don't mean nothing to me. My fan, my friends don't care nothing about winning divisions, winning playoff games. If if you ain't coming back home with a Super Bowl, that season was pointless. It's literally, it's literally pointless. Let me see, let me see. What's going on? What's going on? Yes, sir. Good defense, Giants. Good defense, Giants. If we don't answer with a TD, we would get our wish once again and be picking top two or three. <laughs> no one wants to lose, but if it means championships in the future, exactly, bro. I'm telling you, bro. 
I again, I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't care about division wins. I don't even care about playoff wins. I mean, it's nice a step in the right direction. That's cool. But if that's preventing you from getting the quarterback that can win you Super Bowls, don't do it. Oh, look at the return. Look at look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Danny Johnson. Look at the moment. Hello, uh, your friends aren't even Skins fans. We don't care what they care about. I do. I do. These the these are my peers, and we we're held to a higher standard. We're, it's a higher standard, bro. We hold our. If it's not a Super Bowl, what are you talking for? What are you talking for? Like my one of our friends is a 49ers fan. The way they lost that Super Bowl last year, we talk more trash to him than he talked to us. Cause they got to the Super Bowl, but they lost it. They folded it. They had a nice lead. We don't care about none of that. If it ain't a ring, don't come by it. Don't bring it up. If it ain't a ring, don't bring it up. That's why my Falcons friends can't say anything. They can go to the playoffs all they want, win the NFC South all they want. What it mean? What it mean? What does that do for you? We didn't come for participation trophies, bro. I don't, bro. If it ain't a ring, it don't apply to me. I'm sorry. I don't care what. I mean, I, I understand stepping stones, like building blocks step by step. You know what I'm saying? You do this, you do that progress but at the end of the day it doesn't matter nobody's looking back eight years from now like hey they won that division that one year like nobody <laughs> nobody cares nobody nobody we care about that 2012 season because rg3 was so magical that was a great season nobody else cares nobody we won that division didn't win the first game against the seahawks it's like what well, i mean whatever I love that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm with y'all when it comes to that 2012 season. But any other season, the 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 the, the Kirk Cousins, we went to the playoffs and got diddy bop by the Packers. Forget that season. I'm never bringing up that season again. Even though we did make the playoffs, forget those playoffs. We we, we got diddy bop by the Packers. <laughs> yeah, we got Molly Wop. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even. I don't care about none of that. Y'all can definitely miss me with all that division winning talk over here, man. Y'all can miss me with that. I'm not, I'm not even going to say here and pretend for y'all. Ain't no advantage to winning this sorry division. It'd be different if, th if this division was good. And, and then you can take that. Like, okay, we won a good division. And we can take that further. But, like, this division is sorry. Like, I understand winning the division, take that momentum with you next year. There's no momentum in winning this division this year. There's none. There's no momentum. This division is the worst division in NFL history by stats, like by records. Like, the fact that somebody is winning our division with three wins right now, it's the league worst ever all time. Like, it's literally, it's never happened before since the merger. We're going for it on fourth and three? Okay. What's going on? Let me see. Cam Sims. Okay. Okay. Riverboat run. Okay. Okay. Great play by Cam Sims. Good throw by Alex Smith, too. Got to give him that credit. He's not the quarterback of the future, but uh, good throw by him. Good throw by him. Way to take that hit. Good catch. He's hard to bring down. That's a big guy, bro. Cam Sims is a big guy, bro. That's a hard guy to tackle, bro. Only our sorry fan base thinks it takes three years to build a winning team, go from worst to first every year. We don't have the right coaching staff. The players don't even look like they care. <laughs> but these dump-offs are crazy, bro. Every three plays max is a dump-off like that. Dump-off, <laughs> dump-off, dump-off. <laughs> Whoever was in the left slot was about to be open. It's the fan in me that wants to win, but I know losing helps us more in the long run. I'm right, brown. I'm just, but I'm just always one of them people that's subjective. I'm not really emotional, so like, I just, I can't even understand. I mean, I hear y'all with the winning now, like I hear y'all, but there's no way you can convince me that winning now this year <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> it doesn't. There's no way you can convince me. I hear y'all. Like, I, I see y'all arguments and debates. It's just no way you can convince me. It's an agree to disagree on that, man, because I don't care. If it ain't a Super Bowl, if it isn't anything that's helping us make it to a Super Bowl, when this division only decreases your odds of making a Super Bowl next year. Literally. Like, it's only if you look at, like, betting odds or something, literally makes it worse. If anyone needs to lose their job this season, it's Scott Turner. Yeah, I don't know what he got going on, to be honest. 
I don't know what he got going on. I was the main one talking about, hey, man, wait. Wait, give him, give him some time. Give him a chance. But now, like, I, I think, honestly, bro, you can't tell me we're not tanking, bro. Wow, that was almost, you know, that almost worked. Washington's just going to gotta make a field goal in this drive. Play calling is trash. <laughs> I think that was a mismatch right there. That was a let me see, let me see. That was a mismatch. That was a good play call. That's just that's just Alex Smith being inaccurate. Y'all cannot blame Scott Turner on that play. Now you can blame him for a lot of plays this game and this season. That's Alex Smith right there. He says one play call in every five. Now I agree, but right there, that's definitely like that was not no. Dustin Hopkins missed the forty three. Oh, it wasn't even close. Ooh boy, he out of here after this season, bro. This yeah, this could very possibly also be his last game. But he's for sure out of here after this season, for sure. Like it's not, bro. It's no way. It's no way you keep Dustin Hopkins after this, bro. They said he he was hurt, and they said that uh that he uh what's to call it that the only reason he's playing today is that he made two fifty yarders in in practice. I need to see those clips. When did Dustin Hopkins make 250 yarders? Please. When? When did he make 250 yarders in practice? And what's the difference between this and practice? What is the difference? There's no crowd. It's cutouts in the stands. Look at the cutouts. When he missed the field goal, you just see cutouts looking at him. JD is just a mid midget. That pass was a normal sized person. Now, I do agree with that. Now, if that was Cam Sims, that would have been a touchdown. But still, J.D. McKissick had enough separation that if Alex Smith was accurate enough, had enough touch, that would have been a touchdown. But I don't think any quarterback on our roster could have made that throw. I don't think Alex Smith, Dwayne Haskins, or Kyle Allen would have made that throw. I don't think any of them would have done any better than Alex Smith did on that play, honestly. He said, why do I watch plays again? <laughs> watch games. So I, hey, get a quarterback in the draft. Don't look back. Be great. Plain and simple to me, bro. It's plain and simple. You see teams out here... Winning games with quarterback. I mean, I, bro, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that the Seahawks are better than us other than quarterback. I mean, may, Bobby Wagner, linebacker. I'll give you that. Um, our O-line is a stalemate. Our O-line might even be better than theirs. They're, they're this great because of Russell Wilson. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not guaranteeing any of these four quarterbacks coming out the draft are Russell Wilson. But it's obviously quarterback, period. I don't think their defense is better than ours. I like Terry McLaurin more than DK. I, I'm pretty sure if you switch teams with Terry for DK, Terry would probably be doing even better and putting up better stats than DK is, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, coach is big, too. I agree. It's definitely it's coach, coach, and quarterback, period. They are better wide receivers. Now, receiving core around like DK maybe, but D Terry's better than DK, period. And I think our defense is better than theirs. But even then, even if you want to give them all of that, even if you want to say they're better than us and all of those random things, um, for them, to, for us to be two and whatever we are, and for them, to, they were undefeated at one point and then just started folding. It, it, coaching and quarterback. Coaching and quarterback. Rico, you smoking. We don't have Metcalf or Lockett. Terry McLaurin is better than Metcalf, but I can give y'all their receiving core is better because of Lockett. But no, Terry McLaurin is better than DK, period. I'm telling you, if, if they switch teams, Terry would be doing even better, in my opinion. Better route runner, all of that. Now, DK on slants, because the way he can just box people out is better. But nah, Terry McLaurin's better, bro. Terry McLaurin does more with less, too. If Terry McLaurin had uh, Russell Wilson, it'd be so different. But yeah, nah, their, their receiving core is definitely better. We don't have a Tyler Lockett. That's very true. What's the Eagles Giants score? I'm on commercial break, so I don't know. Yeah, nah, y'all, yeah, y'all tripping, thinking DK is better than Terry. He's more athletic, but that's not all that matters. Good job, defense. Blitz, please. Terry, not that fast. Yes, bro. Terry is runs a four three. What do you mean he's not that fast? He's like a he runs like a a low four three, like a four three three or four three four or something. Terry is super fast. Terry, that's literally like probably his best trait. That's why he, he's literally the best yards after catch receiver in the NFL. But like per reception, it's not even close. 
per reception, he's the best yards at the catch receiver, which means he literally does the most with the le with the least. Period. Was that intercepted? That looked intercepted almost. All right, good job, defense. They're punting. They're punting. Darby is bad, but he did that. Wait, the Jaguars are winning or something? Jaguar scored? Yes, sir. I think I jinxed the game, bro, because as soon as I pulled up Aaron Rodgers' 80-yard pass, I'm not watching. Let Y'all give me updates on the Jaguars, bro. Hey, Duval. <laughs> Duval. Let's go, Jaguars. I know them Duval people, man. Rico, he runs a 1-140. Hit, <laughs> bro. That man, uh, that man, uh, what's it called it? Uh, dang, I forgot what I was going to say. I got distracted. This commercial just threw me all the way off. Let's go, Giants. Yes. Keep up the good work. Let's go, Panthers. Keep up the good work. Convert this first down. Ooh, I might have jinxed them, bro. Dang, Teddy Bridgewater just got killed. Oh, my Lord. That was disgusting. It's quite disgusting. They, they, I mean, they just straight molly whopped him, boy. Alex Smith moving like a RoboCop on the field. <laughs> just to think the Jazz could have been in the Super Bowl three years ago. Yeah, that is crazy. Quarter, hey, what happened? Bad quarterback play. Literally the only thing that held them back. The only thing, literally. Bad quarterback play. Don't entertain Terry Slander. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not hurting myself. Terry's definitely better than DK. I mean, I can see an argument for DK, but no, Terry's a better, especially all around receiver. You're talking about hands, route running, all of that. I think he's probably even faster. He's just better, bro. Plain and simple, he's just better. He just has better stats because Russell Wilson is quarterback and Terry McLaurin has had, I think, five quarterbacks. He's had Case Keenum, Haskins, Colt McCoy, Alex Smith, and Kyle Allen. Bro, all you need to do is look at Carolina doing better without Rivera and us doing worse with them. <laughs> 23 2023 Super Bowl World Champions Washington football team Red Wolves. I like that. I like that, Unghetto. I like that. I like that. Let's go, Giants. Good throw. Good throw, Daniel Jones. See, Daniel Jones is great, bro. Do your thing, Daniel Jones. Good throw again. Daniel Jones. The future, the, the future face of the NFL. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> we should have got Joe Brady instead of Scott Turner. Hey, Rico, can you shout my channel out? Cam Sins and Terry McClendon. You can tell me if they good or not. What's good, Unghetto Isaac? Man, y'all make sure y'all go check out my boy, Unghetto Isaac in the chat, man. Make sure y'all go check him out. He has a Cam Sims and a Terry McClendon video. I definitely got you. I'm going to check that out after I'm done live streaming. See, I just don't like that, like, the way we run the ball, it's a lot of dancing. It's not like a designated hole to run through, and you just go, you're, you're, you're decisive and run right through it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate the fact that our it's a whole bunch of spread zone concepts, and it's just, you have Antonio Gibson in the back dancing around looking for the best place to go. I don't think it's working, bro. It's too much dancing in the backfield. We need to be more, more vertical than horizontal. Look at Terry McLaurin, bro. Doing it all, bro. Doing it all. Look at Terry McLaurin. Look at Terry McLaurin. It's Gibson. Scott Turner's calling the trash game. Gibson the beast. That's why we got rid of AP. He was just a straight north runner. Yeah, he doesn't. Adrian Peterson did not fit what Scott Turner wanted to do. For, for better or for worse. That's why it made no sense to keep AP. Black Lives Matter on the back of the helmets. That's what it is. Terry McLaurin's so inspirational. <laughs> He is, man. Third down conversions, one of six. Ill. 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 We suck. We totally, we so totally suck. Okay, third and three. Dump off. Okay, of course. Did he run backwards? No, there's no. You ran backwards like that. McKissick ran backwards. 
No, there's no way your IQ is that low. You going against your former team in the Lions. This is supposed to be your best game. Why did he run backwards? You could have literally just caught the ball and fell down. Desmond Tru Trufant fell off. Uh, bro, you they gave him they gave him the first down. But you you didn't deserve it. I'm not, I'm going to tell him that right now. You did not deserve that just for being stupid. Just that alone you didn't deserve that first down. He had forward progress though. It looked like it, but he started he started to run backwards on his own power kind of. Everybody saying, hurry up, call the play. Nobody going to block him. Nobody going to block that guy coming in from the side. We not. We just not going to block Curse. Washington sucks. That's why I bet on the Lions. <laughs> what is this beat? Sound like some New Orleans jazz in the stadium. Oh, line is getting manhandled. Yeah, this is a bad game for them. I'm not going to lie. The past two games, they've been really good. And it's crazy because I think the Giants and, and maybe even the Cowboys' D-line are better than the Lions' one. But I don't know. They're just not, play they're not playing well today. They're not showing up. A good throw. Logan Thomas wide open in the middle, of course. Logan Thomas and J.D. McKissick getting their revenge games on. Do y'all thing. Do y'all thing. Do y'all think it's y'all revenge game? Y'all better show up. Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't even know why I'm watching this game. I haven't picked us to win a game since maybe Dallas. <laughs> Let's go, Jaguars. That's how we do it. Panthers scored. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, Jaguars. Let's go, Giants. <laughs> Let's go, everybody, man. Let's go, everybody, right now, bro. Everybody, let's go. Let's go, Jaguars, Giants, Panthers. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all things over there, man. What about the Cowboys? Whew. Even as much as I want a top pick and all of that, it's so hard to root for the Cowboys. I'm not going to lie, bro. It hurts. What's up with these design plays from Scott Turner? Hey, down south, that's your boy, though. That's your partner, though, right there. Speaking of partner, them, bro, that when when is that Jeezy uh, Gucci uh, versus? That's going to be the best versus ever. Not even musically, but, like, the trash talking going to be crazy, bro. People died behind that beef, bro. Jeezy literally sent people to kill Gucci, and Gil Gucci ended up killing one of them, bro. That verse is going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be all kinds of trash talking. There's no way they're going to end up, they can be in the same room in that verses, bro. There's no way. That's one of the funniest Atlanta beefs ever, bro. I can't imagine them being in the same room right there, bro. They want to bring out the old Boosie. What's going on with our offense? I don't know. But that versus battle, I'm pulling up, bro. Normally, I'm not there, like, waiting on the verses. I'll pull up, kind of listen to a few songs, have it playing in the background while I'm doing something else. Nah. When that versus battle is going on, it's, it has my undivided attention. It was supposed to be T.I. versus Jeezy, but they changed it. They changed it. Yeah, I saw Boosie got shot in Dallas. I don't know what for, though. My mom is making me tired. Panthers got an unknown player in fantasy. Hey, bro. Hey, as long as he's putting up numbers, she's making me go up and down the stairs. <laughs> Cousin is a cowboy and it's given gonna be the best, I swear. Yeah, now I've read what yeah, they changed it. I thought it was T.I. and Jeezy for the longest, but T.I. and Jeezy, um T.I. and Jeezy are like cool together, you know what I'm saying? So that wasn't gonna be as entertaining. I love T.I. He's by, he's by far the best rapper out of the three. Now, I mean if you wanted to compare discographies, I mean, it's hard to compare them. Some people think Jeezy has the best music. Some people think Gucci has the best music. Some people think T.I. has the best music. It's undisputed, though, that T.I. is by far the best rapper and lyricist. It's up to you after that. Uh, after, I mean, after that, it's up to you. But by, by far, the best just rapper is easily T.I. But I think Gucci influenced the current, the way music sounds right now. Gucci influenced that the most. Him and Zaytoven, like, did the most with that. Um, so we'll see how that goes, cause I just can't. There, there's no way they're gonna be in the same room on that verse. This is gonna be the first ver. This is gonna be the first verses that they're literally not allowed to be in the same room. They're going to fight mid fight, um, mid, mid verses, bro. It's gonna be hands thrown. All right, second and four. Let's see what's going on. Her Boosie wasn't even actually shot, but taking out the van and laid on the ground with security covering him. 
Wait, so there's a video of it? Like, he got shot up. Like, it was, like, to the point that, like, he had a chance to, like, get shot at and then run and hide. Like, dang. Gucci went hard, though, bro, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I you know, I'm from Atlanta. I love Gucci. I, I appreciate everything he did for not only Atlanta, but for just all music, period. But he's not a good rapper. That man came out of jail and had bars for, like, two songs and then went right back to old, I don't care about rapping, Gucci. Right back. Right back to him, boy. He gave us about a, th a clean three songs. You know, I easily think... I don't even think it's close. I think it's up to you whether you like Gucci music more, if you prefer T.I. as a rapper. But it's between them two, and then G and Jeezy's easily third. It's not even... He was born in Alabama, but he's not... He moved to Atlanta, like, way young, like elementary school. He's straight Atlanta. That's how it is for a lot of people from Atlanta, though. A lot of people are born somewhere else and come there. I was born in Maryland. I just, I, I don't know. Atlanta's a commuter city, and I can tell by how bad the traffic gets every year. It gets worse and worse every year. Kim Sims is it. Let's go. What happened? TM 101, The Truth by Gucci. I mean, it's one of the best diss songs of all time. It's one of the funniest. Nas and T.I. How do you compare Nas to T.I.? I mean, T.I. is a lyricist. I see that. But T.I. definitely makes better music than Nas. I'm not going to say T.I. is a better lyricist. You know, that's up for, you know. I feel like that will shock a lot of people, and I'm not necessarily sure if I agree with it, but it's undisputed. Nas has a terrible ear for beats. As much as I love Nas rapping, his ear for beats is terrible, bro. Nas beats be terrible. Straight up, bro. Period. Gucci vs. Jeezy is serious because it's personal. Yeah, that's a real beef, bro. That's one of the funniest Atlanta beefs ever. Killer Mike is the best lyricist. Ah, I don't think he's better than T.I. or Andre. Me personally. But you know what I'm saying? I don't think he's better than Three Stacks. Might be somebody else I'm probably missing too, but it's cool. I gotta listen to that Goody Mob album that came out. They had, fly, they had a fly skit on there. Yeah, Nas has a trash car, bro. Bro, Ivory, bro, bro. His beats, his ear for beats are terrible. Nas is a great rapper, but his actual, like, songs? Ugh. Eminem is great too. I'm talking about Atlanta, though. Rico, I agree, Nas. Bro, terrible, bro. But yeah, between Jeezy, Gucci, and, and T.I., Jeezy is easily third. It's easily third. Because he doesn't make better, he doesn't, he hasn't had a stronger impact in music and makes better music than Gucci. He doesn't have better beats than them. And he's definitely not a better rapper than T.I. Like, Jeezy's just right in the middle on both. He's just right in the middle on both. Nas has legendary flow, but them beats, bro, I'm telling you. Fresh out, Gu bro, Fresh out Gucci came out rapping. He came out with bars. You can tell that whole time he was in jail, he worked on three songs. He, he put... He put years of effort into those three songs. And then he got out of jail and was like, yeah, I'm right back to not caring. I'm about to just say whatever on the beat. And y'all going to rock with it because of the flow and the beat. Gucci went right back to his old self as soon as he got out of jail. Man gave us three songs of effort. Went right back. They're talking about Tribe versus Outkast. I can, I can dig that. That's, that's lyricism. I think Outkast wins just off of the fact, again, their songs are better. But um, but Tribe Called Quest is crazy though. Gucci seems more authentic. Jeezy seems phony. I I kinda agree with that. Now Jeezy was in BMF, but now nah, Gucci definitely more like you don't want to play with him more than Jeezy. Cause I feel like if it was the other way around, Gucci would have went and kill would have went to go kill Jeezy himself rather than hiring people like Jeezy did. There's definitely a thing to that. That's definitely a thing. Gucci is definitely more of a presence. Definitely more of a presence than, than Jeezy. That man, Jeezy had a whole army behind him with Tribe Called Quest. Tribe had a good run, 90 to 40, 94. Yeah, I, I think Outkast makes better music by far, though. And I'm tr I'm not even trying to be biased. I just, replay value, I would go back and listen to Outkast more than I'd go back and listen to Tribe Called Quest. And I love Tribe Called Quest. I love them. I love Q-Tip and all of them. R.I.P. Fife and all of them, man. But I... Uh, Outkast makes better music, period. Especially since they developed a sound over time. They went from one sound to another. Like, their albums sound different. Tribe Called Quest basically just rapped on the same boom bap beats the whole way through. It's great, but it's not like their, their sound didn't evolve like Outkast did from album to album. But I, I love Q-Tip, though. I love all I love all of those type of rappers. Q-Tip, Most Def, Talib Kweli. I listen to all of them, Nas. I listen to all that East Coast stuff. But Outkast versus Tribe Called Quest, I got Outkast. I'm sorry. 
Oh, I'm sorry. But Child Called Quest is great to just, like, run through their catalog while just, I don't know, driving for, like, if you're going on a road trip and you got to drive for, like, three hours, Tribe Called Quest is, like, crazy. It's, it's, it's great for that. So relaxing. It's chilling. Windows down. Tribe Called Quest is great, bro. Period. But if I'm just sitting down listening to music in my ears, I'll cast over Tribe Called Quest easily. Bro, I haven't even been talking about this game, bro. This game is... <laughs> If I, I'm not going to lie to you, if I wasn't a Burgundy and Gold fan, I wouldn't be watching this game. But good job, flag on the <laughs> flag on the Lions. Yeah, flag on the Lions. Let's talk about that. Electric relaxation. What's with all these passes to McKissick? Tribe was a vibe. Outcast has more elements of hip-hop. I agree. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, Tribe Called Quest on, like, a three-hour drive with the windows down? Perfect. Perfect. Tribe Called Quest with the windows down. 70-degree weather. Three hours straight. Crazy. Gucci calls Jeezy snow cone. Yeah, he does instead of the snowman. Yeah, that beef is no that beef people died behind that beef Like that is no beef to play about this verse is gonna be wild. Let's call everyone by their first names I only call players by their first names when I'm disappointed Nah, McLaurin did not fumble. There's no way it looked like he was down. It looked like he was down. I'm tripping McLaurin looked down to me. No, I'm not tripping am I? I know Pedro's happy just off of the fact that uh, he's going against Terry McLaurin in fantasy. No, he's down. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, he was. That's what I'm saying. It looked like he was down live. He was like he was down. Terry, first of all, Terry McLaurin doesn't fumble. You got to give him the benefit of the doubt. And why is Grunk out here running people over? Yo, you're old. Stop. We need the Panthers to win. Dang. Give up. You're old. Stop. You're getting cheated. Football team is sloppy. I can't watch. No, nah, he's down. He's down, bro, for real. He's for real down, like, for real. Akeem Tlaib has such, like, a like a passive voice. He does, He did, Like, if you just heard Akeem Tlaib talking, you would never think he is who he is. How are you so far ahead in the game? Um, I'm not that far ahead. I don't think I'm watching it on Volakit though. Like, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. This, the link in the 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 pin comment at the top, Volakit. Watch the. Watch, that's how I'm watching it. I'm watching it the same way a lot of us in the stream are watching it. Stop! Don't compare these dudes to Nas. I can name five of Nas albums that are better than any of these cats you named. Oh no, you're tripping. You're tripping. Nas is great. I can easily see somebody having Nas in their top ten rappers list, maybe even top five. But like song sonically, Nas is not it, bro. His ear for beats are terrible, bro. It literally just be Nas rapping on any type of beat. It be trash cans hitting each other. Uh, Rico was ahead of me, and I'm in Maryland. Had to switch to Volakit. Bro, Volakit is elite, bro. Shout out to Dequavius for plugging us in. Nah, you not going to sit here and say Nas's catalog is better than Outkast, Tribe Called Quest. I'll listen to any of those before Nas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, that first album was a classic. The first one, classic. Top 25 rap album of all time, period. But discography, he's not touching Tribe Called Quest or Outkast. There's no way. There's no way. I don't even think it's close. Nas's beats, are his production is terrible, bro. Terrible, bro. They should have done Nas better than that, man. Yeah, Illmatic is a classic, bro. Top 25. I can easily see somebody saying that. I can see an argument for Illmatic being the best rap album of all time. Easily. Like, I can easily see that. But Nas's catalog? No. 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 Never. 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 I can see how you can say you like Illmatic more than any single Outkast album. I can see that. But catalog? Never. 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 Uh... So you guys saying Nas is a good rapper, but... Bro, his taste for beats are bad, bro. It's, it's bad, bro. I, it, it makes me mad. It infuriates me because I love Nas. I love Nas. I want to listen to more Nas music, but the, bro, his songs just be, ugh. Black Eye, I don't consider Black Eyed Peas in the same category, really. I can kind of see that, but no, nah, Outkast is better than Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas makes a lot of good music, though. But, like, they don't even really be rapping like that. You got that one light-skinned guy that occasionally raps with the long, straight hair. That's a bad yeah, that's they, we, they, You can't compare the two. They make they make good cinematic and pop music. We talking about hip hop, rap. 
Man, don't put black eyed peas with them, man. Wait, they gave Detroit that? No. No. I want a top pick, and I'm even like, no. 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 Y'all, no, y'all lying. No pun intended. Y'all lying. Patricia said the ref. I saw Nas perform Illmatic live last year with the National Symphony Orchestra performing the beats. It was unreal. Oh, yeah, that's probably crazy. I went to, like, a live performance. Like, they did, like, the Final Fantasies. They did, they caught it. I never played Final Fantasies. I know of it, but I don't really like it. Um, my mom just happened to have good tickets for it for free, I think, or cheap. And, like, they had, like, a live orchestra performance going through all of the Final Fantasies from the first to the most recent when I went. And then they had, like, a screen showing it. So we had a huge screen huge screen showing the like showing the games as we were going the graphics went from terrible to better and then like we had a live orchestra performing it it was beautiful bro i wish i could have shazammed it but i couldn't because it was it was a live orchestra how do you shazam that but yeah nah live live nas with an orchestra that's got to be crazy yeah these refs hate it because you know how momentum goes too now they're just out here killing our defense about to probably put up at least three points let's go teddy bridgewater to DJ Moore, and then you got, then you got Daniel Jones running, running for first downs. Oh no, he's a yard short. This is great, bro. This is great. This is great football here. This is great football. This is great football. Lose turnover battle, lose the great game. I agree, especially when you don't have a quarterback that can win you games. Alex Smith is a game manager, so when you have turnovers, Deacon and Duncan can't win you games when you're turning the ball over. You can win you games as long as your defense is solid and you're not turning the ball over. But when you turn the ball over and the defense is looking how they're looking today, you can't win games. You're just not gonna win games. Period. You just you just can't do. That's not a formula for success at all, bro. Why did Amendola do that? What was that? Wasn't that a forward pass? What made him what made him think he could do that? Like what made him what was that designed or did he just have a genius moment? That man that man Amendola think he a genius? Do you think they're gonna throw Haskins in the game for giggles? Nah, I don't think so, honestly, Rodney. First of all, what's good, Rodney? I don't think so. I think Ron Rivera is if he's if he's tanking, I mean if he's not tanking, I think he's dead serious about winning. I mean, what well, I mean that's that's I mean I basically just reiterated the same thing I repeated myself. But if he is tanking, I think he's still going to keep Alex Smith in the game just to make it look like he's not tanking. You bring Dwayne Haskins in right now, unless Alex, Alex Smith isn't having a bad enough game. Illmatic, it was written, first lost tape, still mad at Godson. I mean, Nas is five. He, he ain't messing with Outkast discography-wise. That's, that's just point blank, period. Nah, but nah, Illmatic is ridiculous, though. Top easily, it's it's in my top twenty-five albums. I would have to literally do like a list to see if it's higher than that. But at minimum, like without even thinking about anything else, it's easily top twenty-five. That album did change. Somebody did say that earlier. Like that album literally did change the game. Like rap wasn't the same after Nas did that. Rico, do the refs really hate us? Of course, we've seen this for years. Rico, I think he's slick. I. Rico think he's slick. I know you. <laughs> hey, man. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Let me eat. Let me eat. This defense stinks as well. Hello, Rico. Hey, Lee, Lee, let me eat, bro. It was written was better than Illmatic. I like Illmatic better. I can. I mean, I can see the argument. But I think Illmatic was by far more impactful. Like, literally, after Illmatic came out, people were like, I got to make music like Illmatic. Like, it, like, birthed a whole generation of rappers, basically. The Nas beef and Jay-Z. Yeah, the Nas and Jay-Z beef was so stupid. And it was so petty. It didn't even have to happen, bro. It was such a petty beef. It was such a petty beef. Where do you think Haskins will be traded? I hope he goes somewhere like the Steelers or the Falcons, the 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 Colts, where he can he can learn behind a, a, a good veteran quarterback that may retire in the next year or two, and then he'll be ready to step up for them. Illmatic created a lane for Jay-Z. But Illmatic paved the way for a whole generation of rappers. We got to give Nas that credit. Haskins, the Falcons. Nah, Rico, you can't lie. It's job like impressive that I can tell you. Man, that man, that man, that man, Rich know me, bro. 
You said Ja Light, that DMV slang, boy. Man pulled up with the DMV slang in the Atlanta chat. JD Kiss is top five without question. Him and Beans beef was was beef, best beef bar for bar. Now I look, I think JD Kiss is is dangerously underrated, especially amongst people that not from like people not from New York don't really acknowledge JD Kiss, or at least from the Northeast. I don't know anybody that really acknowledges JD Kiss in the South. I'm like one of the very few people out here talk about hey JD Kiss is that dude. Most people don't care. Down at least in the South, who the refs today? Blind people. I don't use it a lot, but sometimes it slips out. I mean, I never expected this to win, so. No, Aaron Rodgers just scored a touchdown. No, Jaguars, you got to hold on to the lead, dog. Oh, look at defense stepping up big. Look at defense. They shut that down. Look at the defense shutting it down. Wait, I thought the Panthers were winning. What happened? What happened to the Panthers? Y'all really expect us to beat the Lions. We can't even beat the Giants. That's that's the point I said. We got swept by the Giants, and the Lions beat the Cardinals. On paper, it seems like we're better than them, but I was like, hey, man, don't sleep on them. You have the better quarterback. You normally win games. It happens. And, they, and and they have the better kicker. Let's not forget that. Peace, Rico. I can't deal with the hate. It's unreal. <laughs> Alex Smith. <laughs> well, poor Alex Smith, bro. Hopkins is trash. If we go in on catalogs, no one is messing with Wu-Tang. Me personally, I'm not a huge Wu-Tang fan. I like Wu-Tang culture-wise, like their impact on the culture more than I actually like listen to their songs, to be honest. That's just me, though. I'm not a huge Wu-Tang music fan. I'm, I love their impact on culture. First of all, being a group like that. And that show. Have y'all seen the Wu-Tang show that was on Hulu? That, bro, that was that was as great as some of my favorite animes, bro. I put it up there with some of my favorite animes. That show was great. I can't wait for season two. Their story is crazy. So I, I, I love their... I like their impact on culture more than I actually like their music. Now, I like... Don't get me wrong. I like Wu-Tang... But I'm not as high on it as you saying like they're they're the top. Like I'm not I'm nowhere near Wu Tang is the greatest thing ever. That just me personally, I'm not heavy Wu Tang. Then again, I'm a little younger, so you know, I'm I grew up dipset. I grew up Max B, J.R. Ryder, I grew up 50 Cent, all that type of stuff. So I mean maybe that might be why I'm biased, but I prefer the J.R. Ryder, Max B, Hell Rail music. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I love the Quad Tribe Called Quest, Talib, Khalid, Most Def, all of them. I love that. But I grew up more dipset. I'm not a I'm not a big Wu Tang fan. I'm just letting y'all know that now. Like music, again, culture wise, love them. Music, eh, not the biggest fan. None of their albums to me are a top album. But again, I'm saying to me, I'm not saying it is facts. Like y'all. Y'all got it. Y'all like y'all like Wu Tang that much. Y'all got it. No, it's just not me. Not a big Wu Tang guy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I can't just put on a Wu Tang album and listen to it from beginning to end. I I can't do it. I'm definitely more Dipset and all of that. Nah, 50 Cent was definitely a hater. 50 Cent, like, it's unanimous that people agree that uh, 50 Cent ruined um, New York rap. Because at first, everybody was cool with each other. They would make songs with each other. 50 Cent, with all that beefing and stuff, created a divide amongst New York. And then that's how the South was able to come up, come and take over. That's how the West Coast and the South were able to just come through and take over. Especially the South. The South took over the rap game because of that. You can literally, between club, making club music... And DJs, you know, wanting to play with hits the most in the club. And 50 Cent out here causing beef amongst everybody. I mean, he even caused beefs that he weren't a part of. Like, he instigated beefs between other groups. And other groups hated each other that had nothing to do with G-Unit or uh, 50 Cent. It's crazy. Like, they really, like, he really ruined New York. Like, New York was on top. And 50 Cent ruined that. My favorite 50 Cent song is Heat, by far. It's not even close. I don't even have a close second. I mean, I love my buddy and all of that. Um, I, I like Teach You. I like Stunt, of course. So He has a bunch of songs. It's hard to really think about all of them. 
But my favorite 50 Cent song is by far Heat. It's not even close, bro. That's my favorite 50 song, period. But I don't have 50 Cent in my top rappers because I don't think he's that lyrically inclined like that. He's not, he's not like just out here just barring people up. He's not barring people up. That 50 Floyd beef, be more love thing, the bar for bar job with out rap fifth. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Ja Rule is a better rapper than 50 Cent too. And 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 Ja, ja Rule had the uh, had the hits too. Don't sleep on Ja Rule with the hits. But at the same time, it just became propaganda. 50 Cent basically made it seem like if you're listening to Ja Rule, you lame. It's kind of like the Drake uh, Meek Mill beef to a sense. Almost. It's not exactly the same, but it's like it literally just like it was popular to like Drake over Meek Mill. It was popular like 50 Cent over Ja Rule. Now, I don't think it was as bad because the Drake Meek Mill thing was like really bad. That was clearly like y'all just... Y'all just like Drake because it's, it's just cool to like Drake. But nah, 50 Cent pretty much did the same thing to Ja Rule. Young Book had hits too, though. He did. Even though I've heard about some things from Ja Rule from, uh... From, what's his name? From, from LA, I forgot. Meek Mill and Drake faked their beef. Drake Rule had made a couple of hits and left. Now, Jon Rule had a lot of hits. Wu Tang albums be Bush. Wu Tang individual artists had good albums, but the albums as a group was Bush. It, again, I mean, I don't. It's not a big Wu Tang album guy. Let me see. Oh, they're saying that PlayStation 5 guys are getting unbanned now. They fixed the glitch, though. That 100K VC glitch is fixed. Bro, our wide receiver has the most rushing yards, and our running back has the most receiving yards. Oh, that's terrible, Jones. That is terrible. That is absolutely atrocious. I didn't even notice that. That's how backwards our team is, and that's why we're losing. We all know Lil Jon is the real GOAT of hip-hop. I hate him. Murder, Inc., the murder, the album is better than any junior mixtape. Greatest group in hip-hop ever. Uh, I got to go give halftime speech. You got that from Courtney, so now shout him out. You a terrible friend. Do I mean, I always shout out Courtney. I always tell people subscribe. I've told people to subscribe to Courtney and Jamal through this channel several times. Xbox the humidifier, terrible defense. Hey, can can all of y'all like my Terry McCoy video, please? Since it's half, make sure y'all go check them out. And y'all already know, man. I told y'all several times. Y'all know Ayo VZ and Jamal for press. I told y'all that several times. Why our defense playing so bad, man? I wish I could tell you. I wish I had an answer for you. I really do. I really wish I could just be like this, that, that, and this. But it's so many things. I mean, I I can start somewhere, but to give you a definitive all-around answer, it's, it's difficult. No limit. Uh, <laughs> getting burned on the D-ball. It's all on Ron Rivera. The McClellan is McDonald's Mill. Rico, get off that game. I'm about to go heat up food and uh probably take Aja out. I will be right back. I will be right back. Yeah, let me be back real quick. I got to go oh, take man. the dogs it's out, and I'm starving. Heat up some food. I'll be right back real quick. Excuse me, Aja. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Papa. You want to go, Papa? You want to go, Papa? Come here, Aja. Come here. You want to go, Papa? Look at You got bigger. You got bigger. Come on, let's go. Come on, Brody. You going with us, too. Come on, Brody. There you go. Heat up some food.
already out of control. I gotta mute my mic. I gotta come back just to mute my mic before my food even done, because it is dog. Who dog is this? Somebody get that boy Brody, man. Oh no, I'm late. I'm late. I'm not too late, am I? What's the flag going? Offense, right? Holding. Holding. And good job, Sweat. Get your hands up. Get your hands up, Sweat. He said put Brody back on. The Sean Yeah, this is a Sean Taylor jersey that I'm wearing. Metro Boom and make it boom. Wait, what's going on? Name a coach that got fired, was hired by another franchise to be the head coach, and then won a Super Bowl with that team. Never really thought about that. That's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. All right, the defense looks like it's doing something right now. Defense, sound, defense looks like it's doing something right right now. I forgot I still was never able to get the music to play in the stream. Let me see. Let's see. It should be playing. Why can't it hear it? Properties. Properties. Pro Why is it not working? No, there's no way second and 20 all of that off of that. Oh, no, no. There's no way, bro. Dude, we're that, are we really that bad, y'all? Let me know. Are we really that bad? Are we really that bad? <laughs> yes, sir, but I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, Everett down. Oh, yeah, it's GG. GG, y'all. GG. GG, y'all. GG, y'all. GG's. Nah, that's, nah, that's it. You know who comes in the game when, when DeShazza Everett's hurt? Troy Apke. Troy Abke. Yeah, nah. GG's. GG's. Well, it was a good run, y'all. <laughs> it was a good run. That's about that's about GG's right there, man. Not gonna lie to you, man. Not gonna lie to you on my stream. Boy, it's like it's almost like it's like almost Voldemort. 
in, in the Burgundy and Gold Nation, boy. Saying Troy, um, yeah, saying Troy Apke's name is like saying Voldemort, boy. He who should not be spoken of, boy, it's done. He said, I'm convinced there's no way they want to win. So that was on Bostic. He said, terrible. We're, we are quite bad. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, I don't know how it got this bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, even me as the guy that wants a top pick, how did we get this bad? Right now, as we are right now, how did this happen? Yeah, why isn't Kali Hudson on the field? Why are we not Justin Fields here we come? I hope, man. I really do. That man King Sean said he don't care no more. He numb to it. I don't know why I can't get music to play right now, though, man. See if I can figure it out. Oh no, dogs! No, no, we not about to do this right now. No, no. Wait, are we okay? That's that. Never mind. So I don't have that ready for the hot key. Okay, I tried it. I was trying to do something with my stream. I still can't get. Like, why is it desktop audio 2? How did that happen? Like, what's that? What's that right there? Okay, run stop. Deron Payne and what was that? John Bostic on it. Right there, right there with it, right there, right there with it. They, they promoting games like we know it's going to happen. Zach Wilson is the way just... Fields might be is gonna be gone. He might not. We might really have that type of pick. I don't know. But I like I like Zach Wilson a lot too. Again, like I'm just saying, I love all those top four guys. Lance Wilson, Fields, Lawrence is out of reach, but I love all four of those guys. I'm really happy with either one. Well, good tackle. Okay, okay. He said we that bad. No, Boston Scott, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. No, we need the Giants to win. Stop, 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 stop. We need the Giants to win, bruh. Stop, stop trying, Eagles. Give up. Give up. We need the Giants to win, yo. Boy, third and four, killing us with the tight ends. Killing us with the tight end, CJ Hawkinson. Stereotypical burgundy and gold football for the past few years at least, man. Who's going to protect Justin Fields? I'm telling y'all, we can literally address offensive line and free agency, but again, I mean, I can't. Who knows if that's actually going to happen or not, you know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you, Mommy. Sorry. I'm proud of Jones. Bro, Kendall Fuller, bro. What what's going on today, man? Talk to me. Tell me something. Tell me something. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? Kendall Fuller, what's going on today? What's going on today, man? Wait, the Panthers are losing? I hate football. <laughs> we suck. I'm about to call full of trash. Yeah, we suck. 
Alex Alex is selling. Come on, Pandas. What well, he said that after just after playing some ball today. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. I heard it, but I wasn't paying attention. We dump all these first rounders on defense and can't get a sack. It is crazy. It is sad. This is really sad right now. I'm not gonna lie. You talking about slide the screen up like this? You want to see it this way, right? Look at Jonathan Allen, how he just jumped. <laughs> Wait, so Green Bay is winning? Oh, man, bro. Football sucks. The, the Buccaneers are winning. Green Bay is winning. This is all bad. It just all got really bad really quickly. Wow. No, no, we're quite bad. Nah, King Sean. Nah, I think we're quite bad out here. I think we're we're quite out bad right now. Hey, but at least if we're gonna lose, let it be a Georgia Bulldog. Hey man. No, 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 no. We're quite bad out here. We're quite atrocious. You say, yeah, I'm gonna take a nap unless Smith is benched next drive. <laughs> we we are quite bad. Alex Smith has not had a good game. Should have never benched Haskins to begin with. I'm with you, but hey, man, there's a lot of people that think otherwise. This piss, this BS is pissing me off. <laughs> but this is bad, bro. This is really hard, bro. There's nobody watching this. You're only watching this game if you're a fan of these two teams, or you want to um listen to Keep to Lead for his first broadcast. Other than that, nobody else is watching this game. Why would you? If I wasn't a fan of the Burgundy and Gold, I would not be watching this game. Rico the last to find out. He went from saying we're not that bad to seeing the truth. I mean, I keep telling y'all, y'all think we're bad like future-wise. Like next year we're going to be terrible. I never said we were going to be good this year. I told y'all in the offseason 6 and 10. I told y'all that. Too much food on the... Oh, thank you, Ma. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told... I have been told y'all that, Timothy. I never said this. That was y'all after the Eagles game talking about we can win the division. <laughs> that, is that was not me. I told y'all this year was a developmental year. Expect it to be a trial and run year. We're going to throw out a lot of young, not as proven talent. Some of them might end up shining. Some of them might end up being duds, like Troy Apke. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all. I've been told y'all that. My perspective is that we won't be terrible like next year after a free agency when we actually try to address team needs. And all. I keep saying this over and over there. I'm tired of repeating myself. He said, "Somatics, we never said the future. We said we were trash." Wait, what? I don't even know how to respond. I'm lost on that one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm lost. <laughs> Why y'all on Alex Smith's head? <laughs> no team gets caught for holding against us. You know that? No, the referees definitely have play a part in this. But I think next year we're gonna. I think we can easily win the division next year. You take a good quarterback in the draft. Take one of those top four guys. Uh, handle offensive line and free agency. I don't see why we why we will still be that terrible. I really don't. I I see us winning the division easily. S Alex Smith is that young undeveloped. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. Now we are we are contradicting them ourselves. But I think honestly that's just a cover up for a tank. You can't convince me we're not tanking and I, and Ron Rivera just trying to act like we're not. We a bad team always been. <laughs> We are what we are now. People don't believe anymore. We really need to upgrade. I think we will be fine next year. For agency money, get Matt back. Bryce Love, maybe. Ruben, who knows? I agree. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we're, bro, I think we're going to be pretty good next year, honestly. He said BNG all day. He said we're going 10 and 6. I told y'all it's 6 and 10. I said maybe 8 and 8. I said maybe if everybody were like if Troy Apke is great, if Jerron Christian was great, if Bryce Love was healthy, if Antonio Gibson could pass block better. That was like I was saying best case scenario was around eight and eight. And that that was also with Haskins being better than I thought he was going to be and not getting benched. That's also in that. And with all of those things not going that way, that's why we're here. 
That's exactly why we're here right now. Nah, Ruben, Ruben Foster getting healthy can really help us for real, bro. Like, for real. Like, really. If, he, if healthy, though. Like, a healthy Ruben Foster. Could be huge for us. Another, another dink and dunk to Gibson. Okay, Gibson making something shake. Okay, 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 okay. He said there's no need to be Dallas on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, the Giants got a touchdown? Yes, sir. 21 to 11. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Wait, Gibson doing his thing right now. He making some shape. Making some shape. Oh, Cam Sims is hurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he did just catch a... No, that was Isaiah Wright that just caught a pass. Oh, wind knocked out of him, so he's good. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Leave me alone, mommy. He was about to burst home. Is that supposed to be woo? Okay, good play design. Get it to Cam Sims. Out the flat. Dang, that hit. Okay, don't don't hit him like that again. You gonna have to see about me, you hit him again like that, bro. That was unnecessary. You could have wrapped him up. <laughs> that man hit a man Rodney. <laughs> so we gonna keep <laughs> The man said, so we going to keep playing Alex Smith so he can win comeback and play of the year and then cut him. <laughs> oh, we got a donation. My boy, the Mayan. Okay, hello. I didn't even have the clappers ready. Man, pre. Oh, wrong button. Oh, Brody, ow, ow. Man, appreciate the donation, man. The truth is any of these teams can magically get hot and win a division. So sad, also intriguing. Yeah, bro, this is bad. I think we're literally the worst division in NFL history. It's crazy. Statistically, at least. Like, wins and losses-wise, we're the worst division in NFL history. At least since the merger. Okay, we're moving the ball right now. Neutral zone infraction. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Probably going to fold it at some point. That's what we've been doing lately, but we'll see. Alex Smith account said, donate if you want a new QB this season. Up, <laughs> oh, Terry McClellan. Terry McClellan doing Terry McClellan things. Wide open. I don't know why if you're trying to win, like actually trying to win, Terry McClellan doesn't get the ball like all the time. It was good, TZVI was good. A season is done. Another reminder to look at this. No, th no thanks, Ma. No, thank you. Two and four worse than last year. Excuse me, Brody. I'm trying to eat, bro. Why are you in front of me? Like, in my face? What happened? Where's the other dog at? She just chilling. All right, second and seven, y'all. See what's happening. Can you please stop trying to get to the playoffs this year? Bro, yeah, bro. I don't understand it either, bro. Alex Smith rolling out. Huh? What was that? Was that McKissick fault or Alex Smith fault? We need a different angle. And what's good, baby Glock? What's happening? What 
Wait, Jacksonville scored? Jacksonville scored? Yes, sir. Yes, let's go, Jacksonville. I always knew you had it in you. Oh, my boy, LD Scott with the donation, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Long time fan since 1982. Win, lose, a tie. I'm a Washington football team fan for life. Right with you, bro. Don't matter what's going on. Sticking, never abandoning shit, man. First of all, appreciate the donation. Second of all, I agree wholeheartedly with you, man. I'm right with you. No matter what, I'm saying it through. Through, th through thick and thin, boy. I'm right here with y'all, man. Uh-oh, we going for it. Uh-oh, we going for it. We are going for it. Ooh, false start. Oh, no, Alex Smith is who we knew he was. Man says one Thursday yard game. People think he's Phillip Rivers all of a sudden. Exactly. Exactly. Dink and dunk God. We're still, we're going for it, y'all. We're still going for it. Did that, does that count? Is that a catch? That was a catch? That's not the issue. Stop with the skins for life call. We continue to accept mediocrity. It's disturbing. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Been a fan since I was six. My dad's DC. I grew up in Northern Virginia. Lived there for all the Super Bowls. Oh, that's dope. At least, you, at least you experienced some Super Bowls. I was never alive for us to win a Super Bowl. I'm too young. I haven't seen one Super Bowl. We scored a touchdown, though, y'all. Oh, I'm behind you, man. Oh, man. Huh? We scored a touchdown, guys. Why did Alex Smith throw that so low? Maybe not. Let's see if you can handle kicking a PAT, uh, Dustin Hawkins. Can you can you handle that? Can you get that done? Can you do that? All right, there we go. He made it. Tank bowl coming. Oh, the Panthers are folding on this man. No. This is an Alex Smith passes the test. <laughs> bro, Panthers, what happened, bro? Why y'all down why are y'all down nine? Make it a more presentable loss. Detroit does allow comebacks. That is true. Pedro Pedro Smith made a good point about that. Detroit do they do allow comebacks. You still, you said you're still following your theory on the Jets. Wait, what about the Jets? We want to hear you eat and drink, Rico. We want, nah, I'm muting myself. Y'all not about to hear me eat, cause I would be highly upset somebody was eating on the mic. Highly upset. Couldn't be me. Sergio, I'm right with you, bro. It's a shame. He's at, he asked if that was sarcasm. I'm eating chicken. It's like some seasoned chicken with apples. My mom made mashed potatoes and broccoli. I'm in heaven right now. 
<laughs> he said, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> but it's what we want. I don't care what y'all want. I'm not eating on the mic because I would be highly upset if I heard somebody eating on the mic. But we cuss people out for doing it in the party chat. And where did uh, Kendrick Perkins come from? Where'd that comment come from? We lose at least we're closer to Justin Fields. Yeah, it's true. If you're trying to win, you get the ball to Terry McLaurin, period. I don't want a lineman in the first round this year, but how many good linemen are there coming out? I don't know. I haven't really done my research on it because I don't, I don't want an offensive lineman either in the first round, so I don't even know what the other guys look like. Can we get a stop? Okay, just record a video, then send it to me. All right. <laughs> this man is trolling. Man, smoke, get your boy. Smoke, get your get your boy rich, man. He out here wildin', bro. I'm not trolling. Straight face. Pretty decent tackle by Cameron Curl to not allow him to get that first down. I'm so serious, you think I'm playing. I know ASMR is. Y'all just not getting me to do it. Because I'll never watch one. I'm not participating in none of that. As the doer or the viewer. Y'all not getting me in none of that. Watching the fourth down. They're going to give us hope like the usual. What do you mean fourth quarter? It does happen. Even a sack strip would be nice. Honestly, bro. Justin Fields looks like he has a chance to be better than Trevor. We never know until they're in the league. Yeah, now Justin Fields looks way better this year. Than he looked dead last year. Like Justin Fields is crazy. I wasn't that high on Justin Fields until this year in college when I'm. I mean, he looks more accurate. He looks like he's making decisions quicker. This is the People's Channel. Huh? If you want to sing the entire soundtrack, the grease, you better make. <laughs> the People's Channel. Y'all ain't getting me to do ASMR, bro. My mom watching this. It ain't no way. All right, down 14, about to have the ball. His mom is missing money in the exact opposite. Hearing them eat will get them cut in real life. Yeah, there y'all go. You said Sergio's your friend in real life when we get in the Chase Young sack? I really don't know, bro. Trevor Lawrence has never had a better throwing percentage than Justin Fields. If that's a fact, then that's a fact. Hey, man, if that's a fact, I, I don't know. I, I've never looked it up, so that might be a fact. And yes, Mega, that's my mommy. What was that? Did he not fair catch that? What was that? Boy, somebody is not playing about that rock song. Y'all heard that transition in the commercial break? Somebody was, somebody had a vein popping out their forehead performing that song, but. He said they got Troy in. It's over. That was Lincoln Park. I've never, I've never like just went into their discography. I've never heard them scream like that. He said, "Who has the worst traffic, ATL or DMV?" I would say Atlanta has more traffic per se, but DMV. The fact that y'all like speed, y'all speed, um. Y'all speed thing, y'all speed limits are like really strict. Like y'all have cameras that track you if you like if you um 
Like that, like if you're going over the speed limit, like it doesn't even have to be a police in Atlanta. For the vast majority of Atlanta, there's some spots like school zones they care, but the vast majority of Atlanta, if a police doesn't catch you, nobody will. Like it's not like we have those robots like the DMV has. We do not have those. We only have those in school zones. We don't even have a lot of red light trackers. Like you can really run red lights a lot of the times too. Yeah, it's literally Cali than Atlanta traffic wise. But I'm saying like DMV has that annoying like really strict strict speed limit. Like you have to do the speed limit. There can be like a robot somewhere watching you and then you'll just get a random ticket in the mail. We don't have those out here like that. We really only have them in school zones and even then not all school zones. We just recently got them like the past couple of months, like just now um, in my area. A lot of areas still don't have them. Yeah, Atlanta, but Atlanta has worse traffic. But again, I'll deal with the worst traffic and just plan around avoiding the traffic than being in the DMV and it's a 55 speed limit and I literally have to do 55. I can't stomach it. I can't stomach it. I literally can't. I can't stand being in a... Bro, y'all be having two lane roads. Y'all be like 35 miles per hour. How? We have one lane roads in suburban areas that are 55. There's no way. There's no way, bro. That's that's the most aggravating thing ever, bro. Atlanta definitely, without a doubt, has worse traffic. But I prefer to drive here than the DMV. Because that speed limit stuff is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Y'all have robots. It doesn't even have to be a human being waiting on you. You have a robot that if you're going too fast, you're automatically getting a ticket sent to your house. That is crazy. I can't stand that. So that's why even when if I go to Maryland, when I go to Mar Maryland, I'm not driving. I refuse. I walk. I Uber. I'm not driving. I'm not dealing with I can't stand going 44 in a 45. It's terrible. Them cameras will have a photo shoot with your car. Bro, bro I'm letting y'all know that this now. Other places don't have to deal with that. That is definitely like, I mean, DMV is definitely one of them. There's a few others. Atlanta does not have that. If you're not caught by a human being in a police car waiting on you, and a lot of times Google Maps will show you if there's a police there. Google Maps and that other app, so you'll already know. But like the DMV, y'all had them speed things. It's terrible, bro. It's terrible. You said there's slow limits. You rather live in Maryland or Virginia? I have no idea. I've never lived in Virginia, and I lived in Maryland when I was so young. If you drop me off in Maryland right now, and do, and I can't have my phone or Google Maps, I wouldn't know where I'm at. I don't know Maryland like that. So uh, somebody asked me to compare Atlanta to Maryland. I can't. I don't really know. I mean, y'all wear New Balance and Timberlands, and uh, that's all I got. <laughs> y'all like New Balance. That's that's that's, and y'all got go-go music. That's about. But like living, I don't know. Weather. I guess our, our weather is a little bit more stable. At worst, we get heavy rain, occasional wind, but we don't really get snow. We don't get earthquakes. We don't get tornadoes. So I don't know. I can't really compare Atlanta to Maryland. I didn't live. I haven't lived there old enough to know like what's going on. I just know y'all wear New Balance. <laughs> That's all I. Y'all like New Balance. That's all I got. And y'all got go go music and mumbo sauce. That's all I got for you, sir. But now that speed, that speed thing is crazy, bro. Like y'all literally will have a two lane road and it will say 35 miles per hour. How? How? That's a 55 here. And then it's not even a real 55 because if you want to, you can go 70 because there's no robots tracking your driving. You can, you, bro, the speed limit on I-285 is 70. You can go 90 and there are people driving faster than you and nobody's getting tickets. Atlanta does not care, bro. We do not. It's no, don't care. Yo, Rico, DC is a speed trap, period. Camera everywhere. Facts on the New Balance. Bro, literally, I can't I can't drive in the DMV. I'll drive in New York before I drive in the DMV. That, that strict, that strict sp speedometer thing with people, like a robot. If you go 56 on a 55, a robot is sending you a ticket? A human policeman won't even do that unless he's being racist or something. You cook? No, I do not. Who? I prefer to cut grass. New York drivers are a different breed. I'm kind of a New York driver. I drove some in New York, and I picked up that strong, aggressive driving. I drive aggressive like that, but in Atlanta, kind of. I mean, I've toned down a little bit. I'm not super New York. I'm not super impatient. I'm kind of like, I'll get there when I get there, but I naturally drive aggressive like a New Yorker. I'll take New York over DMV driver any day, bro. I'm sorry. They make you pay for everything in the DMV. Uh, but y'all got zoos and uh, y'all have zoos and museums that are free. That's cool. 
Rico, the major cities in Florida have speed traps on the highway for highway patrol, red light cameras on each street corner in the city. Wow. Atlanta does not have that. I literally, there's literally places you can run red lights. There's no camera or nothing. There's no cameras, no nothing. Like, you can run red lights. You can go 80 on a 45. Do whatever you want. We're back roads. We're country. You say you don't know DC. I don't. I sure don't. Hey, all I, I know, y'all got some free museums and and y'all y'all zoo is free. <laughs> yeah, I, I never tried to know DC, so y'all tell me. Look at Cam Sims. Or is that that's Isaiah Wright? He was too shifty. That had to be Isaiah Wright. There's so many unnecessary tolls in Florida. Yeah, I don't deal with none of that. Atlanta, I guess, is like the perfect just middle of nothing. DC even has a stop sign camera to catch rolls. Oh, really? Oh, nah. Literally in Atlanta, and unless a human catches you, a human in a police car, you're not getting a ticket. Now, recently again, they started putting some robots, some of the speed trackers, little cameras, in uh, school zones, but that's literally it. Rico, so even in downtown Atlanta and suburbs around Atlanta, they don't have red light cameras? No, they have some. I mean, they have some. But, like, in my area, like, southwest Atlanta, you can run red lights. I don't. I don't see the point. I'll wait. Like, I'm not in a rush to ever run a red light. But you can run red lights. You can go 90 on a 55 easily. No tickets. DMV, we got our own style of rap, and we like high-class merchandise. That's that's pretty random. Um, But, yeah, downtown, I mean, you're going to have more police. But I've never, never, ever heard of anybody or ex None of my friends have ever gotten a ticket downtown that I know of. Look at McLaurin. Look at him. I don't think we, I, we just don't have robots. You can go 90 on a 55. You can go 90 on a 45 if you want to, as long as there's no policeman to catch. DC is his own government, fastest. Y'all sure do like New Balance, though. That's pretty funny. I never got a ticket in D.C. or Maryland. Well, I, I, you must be lucky or something, because from what I hear, I'm never driving in the DMV again, ever. You're literally running a red light here in Virginia Beach. Cam will catch you and send picture a ticket by the mail. Yeah, I don't have to deal with that over here, man. I guess we just don't have as much government funding. I don't know. But it's bad. Y'all for real don't rock with New Balance? No. No, that is, a D that is a DMV. I heard Baltimore's trying to steal that from y'all, but nobody else likes that. New York doesn't like it. Atlanta doesn't like it. Cali doesn't like it. That is literally a DMV thing. That's literally just you all. New Balance is y'all. You wear New Balance, especially, well, now it's not as bad. But back when I was in high school, New Balance was literally South Pole, FUBU, all of that. You might as well have literally just been wearing any of those. It was that bad here. It's not that bad anymore. But it used to literally, like, New Balance was like, boy. Boy, you wearing New Balance out here. You try and get your, <laughs> he try. You try and get killed. Wear some New Balance in school. Bet you known as New Balance, buddy, for the rest of your high school career. You gonna get joined off for them New Balance for the rest of your high school career. But yeah, I heard Baltimore is trying to steal New Balance from y'all. I heard about that. Look at us moving the ball though. Dinkin and Duncan. Dinkin and Duncan. K Swiss. Oh boy. <laughs> Glad you said. Glad you said you don't run red lights. I hope you don't drive ninety. <laughs> That's my grandma there. Baltimore wants everything we got. That's pretty funny. Now nah, New Balance is literally like wearing Fubu, bro. It's not as bad anymore, but it used to be. It used to literally be wearing Fubu out here. Like you might as well just never got a ticket in D.C. Maryland. That man James Fisher out here treading lightly then. Rick, remember high school Air Force Ones were super popular because down here in Florida, specifically in Miami, every kid had different pairs. Yeah, that was super middle schoolish for me. Air Force Ones were more middle school for me. B more got the worst potholes in the world. I would argue Atlanta, but again, I've never been to Baltimore. But I know Atlanta has terrible potholes. New York does too. New York is terrible. Fubu was always some Yankee stuff. Well, we got a Gibson touchdown. Look at us. We got a Gibson touchdown. Look at us. Look at that. How you like that check down? That's crazy, bro. Y'all have robots that track y'all speed, take a picture of y'all license plate, and send it to you? Iowa has the worst pot in the hole. I've never been to Iowa. Yeah, Washington is coming back. Watch this happens almost every game. Fourth quarter looks promising. And throw some. It's snowing ATL. They shutting the city down. Bro, it literally takes two inches of snow, 
everybody out for work out out of work for a week, bro. We just don't have salt trucks. I'm not sure if we do now. Like we're like, all right, after that happened last time. Um, you said can can anyone name? I mean, of course I can can because I'm from Atlanta. Y'all don't know Athens? That's where UGA is at. Y'all don't know Savannah, Quando Rondo, and all of them. Savannah is almost more Florida than than in Atlanta though. But yeah, Savannah. You don't know Savannah, Macon, Athens, nothing. If you into football recruiting, you'll know all the Georgia cities. Because, I mean, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, all Georgia guys. You'll know all of them. Logan, Georgia, all of that type of stuff. If you're really into, like, high school recruiting, you'll know, like, all the Georgia cities. Because we, bro, we killing them. Well, that's Northern Virginia, D.C. and Maryland. Our robot cameras, nothing like it's chill, not as strict. That's where I'm from. I would love to see more zone blocking in the ring game. Now I'm embarrassed for the Lions. We suck, and they're letting us come back. My uncle lives in Marietta, Augusta. Yeah, there's Augusta. But you're not, we don't handle snow very well. Luckily for me, I was in New York when that happened. I was living in New York, so I didn't experience that two inches shutting the whole city down. I heard about it. Everybody I know was affected by it, but I, I luckily I was in New York for that. I missed the whole thing. I'm out there dealing with a whole foot of snow, still got to go to class. Hopefully, Hopkins actually made the pit. <laughs> Don't let them throw this hope in y'all heart. <laughs> ATL, let me make fun of those comfortable 180 shoes that I can't afford. Bruh, it's just certain. I mean, I feel you, Smokes. I feel that's pretty funny. I'm not even a big shoe guy. Like, I'm not the love Jordans, love Nike, all that type of stuff. So that's pretty funny to me. But that's how it is. Certain styles just don't work everywhere. New Balance just looks ugly to us. We just literally don't like the way it looks. I don't like it. My mom used to have me in them all the time in elementary school, too. I have pictures in like eight different types. But yeah, nah. Smokes, I'm with you on that. I don't understand, I don't understand paying a lot of money for shoes anyway. I'm not a shoe person. I don't care. I buy shoes to resell them. I don't wear shoes. I wear slides all day. I have Walmart slides. Join me. I'll join you right back. I don't even care. I'm too grown to be Cambo. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing Walmart slides. $10. Stop playing with me. I don't wear shoes unless I'm doing something athletic like cutting grass. I don't care. Or if I have to go somewhere nice, I'll put on... I have a couple of pairs of shoes for that. I don't, I'm not spending more than $150 on shoes. You're not getting me. I'm only buying shoes to resell them. Some point, you watch out when they score another TV. We get Matt Fire, Smash the Likes, Cartersville, Trevor Lawrence. There you go. Thank you. Rico, they, they, they will falcon it. No speed cameras down here in Woodbridge. So it should have been 20 to 24, but Hopkins sold. Texas have been stupid today. Alex and this. Should be 20 to 24. Who knows? The refs didn't cheat us. Oh, that's a good point. The refs did hate. Uh, that that shouldn't have been an interception too. I hate the fact that that's on Terry McLaurin's record because that's not it. That was not a fumble, bro. Rico, how far are you from Grayson High School? Is that in Atlanta? I don't even know where that is. That ain't something in Southwest Atlanta, so I don't know. It took me ten hours to get home, and that's <laughs> thirty minute drive turned to ten hours. Congrats on the six point eight k. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. It's not Woodbridge. It's Hoodbridge. Is it really where is Woodbridge? It, what, what, what state is Woodbridge in? That's in Virginia or something? This fast-paced offense is good. Should be us 27-2014. Mom the best. West John drinks it. The big end on the size of the shoe. Ugly, bro. I think it's ugly, but I mean, y'all do y'all, bro. Terry has zero drops and zero fumbles. They put that fumble. Bro, that was fake, bro. That McLaurin fumble. Still, yeah, bro, I'm mad. Have you spent any time in Savannah? I've been there once, and I was there for literally a matter of hours. I flew from New York to Savannah to get to Atlanta because New York to Atlanta was all booked up. That's the only reason I've been to Savannah. My dad was born and raised there. He he met my mom in graduate school and moved to Maryland in 1980. Oh, that's dope. My feet kept growing, too, so there's no point in spending so much. Well, there are shoes that are 3K. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I know about those. And if I get my hands on them for... A hundred and something dollars, bet I'm selling them for 3K. I don't keep shoes. I buy shoes to sell them. We going to have them play prevent soon. After VA, you can run endless red lights. Them country states be clutch. <laughs> bro, imagine wearing Walmart slides. Couldn't be me, bro. Joan, hey, Joan. Joan. <laughs> Say something. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't get how people pay so much for shoes. Right, bro, I don't get it either. Wait, where were we at? 
Uh, Hopkins is really trying to not get fired. <laughs> They be too much money for Nike SDs. Imagine spending 3K for the Dior Jordans. We should have at least nine more points. Texans went for a field goal and punted it. What? What? I don't get how much people pay. Yeah, I don't get how people pay so much for shoes. I, I never understand it. But I appreciate them because I'm one of those guys that gets them for a hundred and something dollars retail, sell them for three hundred. I'm I'm getting shoes off. I do not care about shoes to keep them. One more stop, baby. Rico, I'm still on my Eric and the Jets come up. Bill O'Brien still lives on in Houston. Hopkins. <laughs> Regal question. How far are you from Grayson? I don't know where that is. I have no idea where Grayson is. Washington is. Is that in Atlanta? I have no idea where that is. The DMV might be the hottest area in the, in the country. You talking about as police goes? They nervous. Rico. Come on. Defense. Matt Patricia get fired like Trump. That fumble was, well, that fumble was fake, bro. Virginia Commonwealth. But you going to jail. Wait, what do you say? Woodbridge is Northern Virginia, but his real name is Hoodbridge. My mom went to Payne College in Augusta. So we just let we just let people pick up 13 yards on second and 20 like it's nothing, huh? Nervous. Now, Rico, I'm still up on the air. DMV, the freshest area in the country. Stop it. Everybody thinks they the 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 best dressing people in the country. It's not. There's no point of even debating that. There's literally no point. You definitely can't tell a New Yorker they dress weird. But then again, it's crazy because Atlanta and New York is dressed way more alike than anybody than we do to the DMV. The DMV dress is so different. And I, I respect that. I like that. I like the fact that y'all have your own style. I like that. Again, like I always say, I like the fact that nobody really steals y'all slang like that. I mean, y'all get some slang stolen from New York and Baltimore occasionally. But man, Atlanta slang is used everywhere. And it's annoying, bro. Boy, if Matthew Stafford would have avoided that, grew up in Falls Church, Virginia, PG County over everything. Rico, let's see you agree. Hey, Rico, you buy them for 150 and then sell them for 4K? I wish, but yeah, I would if I could. Let's get a safety to score. I used to live in PG County, Temple Hills, put them on eBay. Most new most new balance are ugly. DMV only rocks certain pair. I'm 996, 997 only. I don't even know what that means, but okay, that's interesting. So there's different types. Because I, I don't know. I don't. Atlanta knows nothing about New Balance. Hawkins playing hurt. Who copping the bread? Yeezys. Please not another conversion. <laughs> nice tackle. All I got all I got for shoes is $25. AC. <laughs> DMV been setting trends since the 70s. Wait, what happened? ATL was country back in the day. <laughs> Buy the Asian slippers from the Dollar Tree. Now I need some. I don't like something going in between my toes. I'm not doing that. I'm doing slides. Swift to show shifty. I can't deal with these missed tackles. I remember one of the Galaxy phone posits. Wait, what just happened? Capital Heights. Chase slapped his mask. No flag. All right, let go. We rocked the 990s. I don't even know what y'all are talking about. I don't know what that means. The 990s. Say Rico, I lived in Miami. The fashion statement that we have down here, Cuban link chains. I'm not sure if Atlanta has those, and they're getting popular. I think that's just like a rich people rapper thing. I just assume. I don't know. I do not know. Hey, do we? But it's kind of weird though, because like Atlanta, we have like a style, but like we don't have like a whole bunch of stuff we agree on. Like how y'all, like how y'all whole city loves New Balance. And like how Detroit loves buffs, the buffies. Like Atlanta doesn't really have something like that. Like child change, ch styles change every every like few months, and different parts of Atlanta like different parts of things. You know what I'm saying? We don't have like a New Balance. We're like DMV has New Balance, or I think y'all used to have Nike boots. I remember Wale making a song about that. I guess I don't even know what a Nike boot is. Um. What's to call it? Uh, New York is like the bubble jackets and the Thames and stuff like that. That's what they're known for. Detroit loves Buffies. We don't really have anything like that. Atlanta really doesn't have a, like a significant style that nobody else does. Literally don't. Uh, I always wear Jordans, not New Balance. We wear bubble jackets. Haley Hansen. 
We blocked the plane last year against the Giants in the Chase Young Bowl. <laughs> yeah, we did. Terry is, get, is getting ready to score a touchdown. I hate that we aren't losing this game. <laughs> You might, you might, and you just don't know because clearly it should, it's not your thing. Nah, I for real don't. Like, we don't. We don't have something like that. I, I know. I don't like, you know, I'm not big on all that stuff, but I know. Like, we don't, we don't have something like that. I'll make a pair of $20 skippers look fire for real. Hey, man. Hey. Exactly. I'll make these Walmart slides look good. Especially if I get a new pair that's clean. DMV all day. Nike boots and New Balance. Bro, what are these numbers? Nine nine six five seven four. Y'all keep up with those? What does that even mean? Had to retire the Hillies, boy. You should have never had them. <laughs> Who was at the Chase Young Bowl? I was. Choppers is a fashion statement. You talking about guns? I mean, I guess most people do walk around with guns. We go Cam Curl stepping up. We've been telling y'all about him since the draft. I like Cameron Crowe. I just kept saying he wasn't athletically gifted. He's really smart, but he's never just going to be the fastest guy on the field, which can sometimes, you know, put you in bad situations. But he, I like Cameron Crowe coming out of college. That dude from earlier might lose some money on his game. Oh, yeah, the guy that was betting. Oh, poor baby. Rico, this numbers are different. Are different New Balance shoes. Yeah, I mean, I use context clues for that, but I'm like, y'all keep up with that? Like, 9975, whatever you just said, and y'all got all those memorized? Type of shooting amounts coming in. Let me see that mobility. Rico, you're from Georgia. Correct question. How far are you from Georgia Dome? Uh, not far, like 20 minutes. I'm by the airport, kind of. I'm southwest Atlanta. Not, like, by the airport, but, yeah. Like, planes are loud. I'm close enough to the airport where planes are, like, loud. Hey, let's go Jaguars! That's, like, the model number one for shoe. I remember New York and VA used to rock Wallab. What is that? 365 V1. Two scores to win. People all these past. Now y'all just talking a different language. I do 3D printing. Make shoes, clothing. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. 3D printing. What happened to baggy clothes? I used to think that was so hard, bruh. In Atlanta during the snap era, I, I kind of give Dipset the credit for starting all of that baggy stuff. I don't know. I may be wrong. But I know when it came down to Atlanta, bro, that whole Laffy Taffy and the lean with it, rock with it, and two-step era, boy, all of that was baggy clothes. Every little bit of it. All of that, them UGA players saw. You lying. You lying. It's a GG up them all, bro. Got money. Rico, I only rock 990s. I don't know what that means. I mean, I, I get that's a certain type of New Balance, but I don't even feel like Googling it. Drop Keenan and Cole to waivers last week. Third and five. What's going on? Look at Lucas. Wait, what happened to Lucas? Lucas hurt? Oh, it's dark. Who came in for Lucas then? Moses is playing left tackle. Who's playing right tackle? Boy, who was that? Was that Terry McLaurin wide open? Oh, that's Steven. Look at Steven Sims made a play. Steven Sims made a play. So, who's playing right tackle? Is that David Sharp over there, maybe? If Clemson lose one more game, they shouldn't play in the college football playoffs. I kind of agree. ATL used to be known for the long shorts. Is that really a thing? That, that was a thing? Brody Fun, been while since I... Man, my boy Doe Gunner donated, man. Appreciate that. Oh, he really about to score. Appreciate the donation, boy. My boy, Door Gunner in the building, man. Appreciate that donation, man. We're really moving the ball. This is crazy. This is wild. He said, don't jinx us. I I'm trying to jinx us. Hey, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I used to want to fight Jeezy for them long shorts. So we really were known for that. Yeah, Jeezy did have some long shorts on that Soul Survivor song, I think. That Soul Survivor video, I remember seeing that like a month ago. I was like, what was that? Yeah, now, nah, big, big, the big white tees, boy, that was Atlanta to the death, bro. 3XL white tee was super Atlanta. The joints with the do-rag. <laughs> Break it a TV. Wait, what happened? 320 yards, 300 back to back. This man Alex Smith out here throwing it, boy. 
But Joyce is so bad, bro. What's the flag in the backfield? What's the flag in the backfield? What's the flag in the backfield, coach? How we come back? I have no idea. Dave Sharp is 6'6", 330, so he should at least be decent. So he is, that's that's number 72, because I don't know his number. I just know the only tackle on our active roster is probably David Sharp. A holding defense? Oh, look at us. Look at us. He said, sorry, and I swear to God, but come on. Especially after ATL came out with y'all snapping with the 3XYTs and the Tims. <laughs> Yeah, bro, that whole that whole lean with it, rock with it, laffy taffy, knuck if you buck. All of that was all at the same time. Crank that soldier boy, all of that. That was a fun era. And it's crazy too, because we went from too close too big to close too little. Oh, Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson, two touchdowns. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. But yeah, we went from close too big to close too little. We went from 3XL white tees and long shorts to to Abercrombie and Fritch and, and, and Polo and American Eagle and all of that type of stuff. And then we finally hit like a, a, a decent middle that made sense. Gibson is a god. Soldier Boy up here. Yeah, but that Soldier Boy. Lean with it. Rock with it. Two step. Walk it out. Laffy Taffy. I'm starting to see spaceships. Oh, baby. Oh, all that stuff was really fun. That was a fun era. That was middle school for me. That was I got here right before that. Like I literally moved to Atlanta right before that. I was so confused. I was like, "What is this genre of music? What is trap music?" Don't choke, Hopkins. Let's see what Hopkins. Hopkins got it. All right, Hopkins got it. Ain't no way we came back. <laughs> I'm in D.C. right now. I'm passing the road camera of New York Ave. That's really interesting how D.C. has like those. Y'all have like Pennsylvania Street or Ave and New York Ave and stuff. That's really weird. I think y'all have y'all might have a Virginia Ave or something like that. That's really cool. I've noticed that, that y'all like have streets named after like other states and stuff. It's really interesting. We are a second half team. Clearly, craziest comeback in a while. I agree. I don't know how we got here. I have no idea how we got here. How many re how many seasons left on Alex Smith contract? I think next year is his next year, last year. I think he's through. I think he's on contract through twenty twenty one at least. The tellers who have It's because DC was built after the other colonies. Oh, that makes sense. Yep, New York Ave, Maryland Ave, Georgia Ave. Okay, this is why you never been in a team seventeen and that's a point. This is better than the Eagles game. And DC was built by black labor. Yep. A lot of places were. Let's win this meaningless game. <laughs> Y'all were a second half team. Michelle. Reminds me of how you like that comeback. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's looking a little like that. I'm not going to lie. Connecticut Ave. It's crazy how no matter where you go, if the street is called Martin Luther King, you don't want to be there. Boy, I can speak for Chicago and Atlanta. That's very true. I don't know about DC, Maryland, or whatever. But I can speak for Chicago and Atlanta. That is extremely true. Boy, Martin Luther King is a bad place. But <laughs> is that on purpose, bro? Are they setting us up to make us look bad? Between Trey Lance and Zach Wilson, who do you want? I want both a lot. But if I had to flip a coin, I'm like 51% Lance, 49% Zach Wilson. I'm starting to like Zach Wilson more and more each week. MLK in D.C. is horrible. Well, that sounds like it makes sense. MLK in Tampa, Florida is not a good place. Bro, why does that happen? Couldn't score in the third quarter. We still going to lose. Jags going to win. I hope so. I hope that's what happens. She Southeast DC. MLK is B more DC and PG County are all terrible. Really? So MLK is just really like, because <laughs> I know in Atlanta, MLK is not, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't where you want to be at unless you're from there. And even then. And I know Chicago, Chicago might have the worst MLK. Uh, Chicago's MLK might probably be the undisputed worst. But they're just moving the ball, and that's like it's nothing. Here we go again.
Florida same way MLK in Southern Florida. ML, every MLK street is placed in the hoods. They they have to do that on purpose to make it look bad to try to tarnish his name. That has to be on purpose. That has to be a systematic thing on purpose, bro. It gotta be. If you're on MLK run, DC is not dangerous at all. I mean, I wouldn't know, so y'all gotta speak on that on the chat. I know Atlanta's bad. Atlanta's like getting worse. Wait, Jaguars, y'all better not fold this, bro. And DC, MLK, and Malcolm X might be the worst spots. <laughs> okay, it's bad because the people that live there. Good stop. Even in St. Louis. Sac City. Oh, okay, Sac City. So, what's good, Lyndon? Landon? It's not over to all the bandwagons. Only says that out of hate control. DC is not dangerous as long as you keep it moving. I'm actually playing. <laughs> Shondell Hamilton finally made a play. Shondell Hamilton finally made a play. Systematic racism, bro. It has to be on purpose, bro. It has to be. Wait, we got a sack for only a loss of one. Oh, I thought that was going to the tight end and it was about to get intercepted. I did not know it was going over there to Marvin Jones. Northeast, good. Southeast, just drive slow. Why is Darby playing so far away? You tell me. I guess he doesn't want to get beat Alabama Avenue. So there's Alabama Avenue too. That's pretty cool though. That's pretty dope how consistent that is. Bro, Giants, don't fold, bro. Please, please, Giants, get this dub, bro. Giants, we need y'all to win this, bro. Bro, how do you get that much room on third and one to the outside? Who's supposed to be setting the edge? Who's supposed to be setting the edge? <laughs> we still have a chance. We do, but this defense is looking like, ugh. Looking so, ugh, right now. Look at, uh, right now. Independence Ave. What is that? I had to blow my nose, so I muted my mic. Swift, this guy's different. I mean, he's a Georgia Bulldog. What you expect? Nah, I'm just talking trash, though, because Georgia Bulldogs do get to the NFL level and don't usually work out. I'm not going to lie. Even as a Georgia fan, what is wrong with our D-line? I have no idea. You tripping like big shoes. I live here. I have people that died over. Please stop. This is just a joke. This is <laughs> Can't with this team. This boy different. Chase is hurt. No explosion. I'm starting to th I'm thinking Chase is hurt, too, bro. Second and one, DC has the best street names. Me personally, my favorite is New York because it's easy. I mean, literally, if you're on First Street and you want to go to 14th Street, you go north. It's literally a sheet of grid paper. Like Manhattan, literally a sheet of grid paper. Like there's, there's, there's avenues going up, there's streets going left. If you want to go from First Street and First Ave to 8th Street, I mean, no, it's down here. First Street and First Ave. No, wait. No, First Street and First Ave, First Ave to Eighth Street and Eighth Ave. You go literally this way. Like you just literally up seven Aves. I mean seven streets to the right seven Aves. That's literally like that's why New York is. I love New York, man. That's what I do. DC is safe, and you've been there. It's way safe. Yeah, trust me. I mean, again, I don't know. So I'm just taking y'all word for whatever y'all say. I do not know anything about DC except for y'all have the. Uh, Y'all have that African American Museum is really dope. I was able to go there before it opened, so I went there with limited people. Now, granted, a lot of the uh, what's that thing called? A lot of the exhibits were closed. A lot, a lot of the exhibits were closed because we went there early. They still weren't even finished, but at least we didn't have to deal with crowds. And that museum is great. I remember the Air and Space Museum when I was little. I used to love that. I think Atlanta Zoo is better, but the fact that y'all zoo is free is great. Put Sean Dale Hamilton back in. Bostic trash. <laughs> DC has all 50 states named. North Capitol Street. Linebackers are atrocious. New York done. Mass exodus. <laughs> it sound like you making New York sound like it's the division. <laughs> Never thought I'd say I wish AP was in for them. What's wrong with Chase? Chase said he was healthy. Sac 
Second 10 on the 20-yard line. They're already in the red zone. Yeah, they're going to play it safe and run the ball. That makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I feel sorry for Chase Young. I don't know if he's hurt or something, but the fact that he's not even in the game shows something. Look at LeBron. Even in the past season, he was still dealing with his groin injury from two years ago. Yeah, that is a thing. That is a thing. When the Lakers didn't make the playoffs with LeBron when he first got there, that groin injury was serious. Ring back RG3. I'm in New Jersey. New York is complex. Always visit our pizza spots. I love New York's my favorite city to live in. Atlanta's home, so it's like my favorite city, like people-wise, culture-wise, accent, music, and all of that. But New York is my favorite city to live in, and it's not even close. LA is cool. I like LA. LA's second, maybe. Between LA and Atlanta, who's second and third, but for me, like my preferences. I like big cities. I like not having to drive. I hate driving. I like being able to get up at 3 a.m. and go get a chopped cheese in Arizona. I love New There's always something going on. I just love New York. I'm I'm the super big city guy. Skyscrapers, people everywhere, events always happening. That's me. So that's why I love New York. You don't have to drive. You literally don't need a car. It's actually more inconvenient to have a car sometimes depending on where you live at. A car actually makes things worse a lot of the time. Same in Texas. It don't snow a lot. I was there. It shut down over one inch. Yeah, bro. That Atlanta shut down over one inch is crazy. DC fact. There are no J streets in DC. That green injury is going to linger. I hope not. I want chopped cheese so bad. Looks windy. Yeah, DC is safe. If you live in Georgetown or up by Canal Street, other than that, you can get the smoke. <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't even know. I know Georgetown is in D.C., but I don't know where it is in D.C. Ooh, that almost got blocked. Who almost got to that? Who almost got? Who was that? Somebody was really close. Somebody was really close. I'm so confused. Is Chase injured or not? I really don't know. Georgetown is northwest near Glover Park. I don't know where Glover Park is, but okay, northwest. It's in northwest D.C. Georgetown has the Exorcist movie steps. I went to Georgetown like a few years ago to visit their new facilities. They started working on like a new locker room and everything. It's crazy. Georgetown is crazy. Like the way their basketball facilities are set up. It's like how Southern high schools and colleges are with football. Like Georgetown did their thing with that, bro. That Their facilities are crazy. Donate the Rico's Cash App. Let them know, Alex Smith. Let them know. Everybody like the stream, too. If y'all in here chilling, we just cooling it, talking. Make sure y'all please like the stream. It goes a long way, bro. I prefer for y'all to dislike the stream than to not do anything. So please like the stream. I really appreciate it, y'all. Much appreciated, much appreciated. I'm going to do the alarm real quick just to let y'all know. Please like the stream. Really appreciate it, really appreciate it. That's why Alex Smith got the uh, moderator, bro. I had to, bro. He's always talking about like the stream and donate. That's my boy. All the times we marched down the field and didn't capitalize makes me confident that we'll lose taking the fields. It, it does seem like we can move the ball. And then at like at the end of the day, we're like, nah, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Don't give up this top pick and let's fold. I, I'm with you, Timothy, on that. I'm really with you. Do you think if we make the playoffs, we can still get Zach or Trey? Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Those guys, remember, if we win the division, the highest pick you can have, I think, is in the 20s. So teams with 11 wins will pick before us because they didn't win the division and we did. So, like, that's why I'm saying winning division is pointless. Like, you just all you do is pick behind teams with 9, 11, 10 wins, maybe even 12, depending on how divisions shake out. And you won't be able to get those guys unless you trade up. And I just don't – I, I mean, I want a quarterback so bad I'm willing to trade up. But if we don't have to, please don't. I don't want to have to give up first-round picks to get a quarterback where if we just go ahead and lose games for the rest of the season, we don't have to give away future first-round picks. Remember how drafting RG3 set us back terribly? It set us back super far. I don't want to go through that again. I just want to be able to get my quarterback the legitimate way. Oh, Smith. You throw him. You overthrew him slightly. Cam Sims probably would have caught, caught that, though, because he's taller and can probably jump higher. But you overthrew him, though. Wait, uh, Akeem Tlaib said they had Terry McLaurin across the middle wide open. He said, hell yeah, for like four years, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Logan Thomas is 6'6". Yeah, but he don't, he don't have any bounce. I feel like I feel like Cam Sims might have more bounce than him. But I'm probably wrong about Cam Sims being taller. I don't know why it looks like. Boy, you fell down? Oh, he almost got more yards out of it. He almost about to trick him. 
They almost sat down and watched them get up and go further. I'm going to throw check downs till you tell me not. <laughs> Terry was open for God's sake. Yeah, man. I don't know how you make a mistake by not seeing Terry open. How is Terry not your first weed? read every play and then you look at everybody else afterwards? Oh, that's a good tackle. I didn't think he was going to get there in town. Tom, he roughed up. Another holding call? Another holding call again, like for real, another one. Y'all like three plays ahead of me. Oh, I'm sorry, Smokes. You you and Volakid, go to Volakid, Smokes. Go to Volakid, bruh. Just type in Volakid, bruh. Catch up with us. Is this really holding though? Illegal use of hands to the face. Offense, number 72. Up, oh, David Sharp. There you go. He said, that's sharp. Yep, that's sharp. Right tackle, tragic right now. Yeah, we had to move Morgan Moses to left tackle because we're just out of tackles. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. How can I watch the WFT games if I'm in Vegas? Go to Volakit. The pin comment at the top by Rich X N G L. Uh, use Volakit or just type it in. V O L O K I T. Volakit. That's how I'm watching it, and I'm I'm up there with the people in cable as far as like. How, how what play we're on? I live in Hawaii. AAM football and bloody man. Oh man, I don't know if that's worse or when I was in uh, Europe when I did a semester of college in Italy, uh, Paris, and in Spain. Boy, them 8 p.m. games were like started at like 3 a.m. for me. So like I was up till 7 a.m. watching football. It was sad, bro. It was sad. I don't know if that's worse or them early 8 a.m. an 8 a.m. game. You gotta wake up at 7 a.m. to watch a football game. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know which one is worse. But that was terrible, though. That was really bad. That that uh that having to stay up till 7 a.m. to watch an 8 p.m. Eastern Time game was awful, bro. I just like I'm not watching it, bro, because I gotta go to class tomorrow. I ain't had time for that. Probably gonna lose because of the kickoff penalty. All sports, 990 Rico at New Balance. Send him a ban. I can barely. I never seen Google delete a comment before. Yeah, what do you do for Google to delete your comment? Like, Google moderator team. What did you do? What did you, <laughs> what did, you do? Why do y'all want to win? Alex is in the future. Now there's Kyle, and we're throwing Dwayne away. What do, what do we stand to gain? But Timothy, bro, if they give you an answer, tell me the answer. Why did we use a timeout? It's all right. We could have used it later. Yeah, why did we use a timeout? We wasn't getting any penalties till now. Why? I agree that over the past, Thomas was roughing the passer because he. Yeah, that was a little weird. He kind of threw him down. It did. I, I was looking at that like, I think that's. I didn't say anything out loud, but I was looking at it when they showed the replay in slow motion. I was like, that kind of looked like he. That should have been called or something. All the owners need to sign a position to get rid of Dan Snyder. Nah, why would they do that if we keep losing with them? They want their teams to win so they can make more money. <laughs> the line is about to sell the game, no cap. Yeah, it's too many injuries. We win before Dan all of a sudden. We lose when Dan becomes owner. Yeah. Hey, connect the dots. Ever since Dan Snyder's been here, it ain't been right. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. Yes, sir. Giants, good job, Herm Edwards. You play to win the game. Hello? Playoffs? You play to win the game. Terry McLaurin's always open. Terry McLaurin's always open. Good throw by Alex Smith, too. Terry McLaurin's always open. It's that simple. DC more known for Tim's than New York. I would have to disagree. Have to disagree. Like, literally, New York gets memed for it. Like, whenever they do memes, they be like a New York person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe y'all were wearing it first. I'm not going to argue that. But as far as, like, nationally, like, uh, like from other places outside of DMV in New York, New York is definitely more known for uh, Tim's, period. I thought y'all were Nike boots and New Balances. I thought. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, you know. I ain't worn Tim's since 2007. Okay, so I'm not tripping. I'm like, I thought, thought Tim's was a New York thing. We, They got Tim's. Y'all got New Balance. Atlanta just wears the Jordans and Nike. That's about it. Adidas, I mean, unless you have a certain type. 
That looked like passing the fans on the slick. This lack of crowd noise is so weird. It feels like the stream glitches. I think I, I keep thinking it's on my end. It's Uggs now. Ugh. Polo boots? Polo boots? Now, there was a period of time in Atlanta where everything you wore was polo. Draw, socks, everything. Polo head to, head to toe. Yeah, that looked like a pass interference. I knew I wasn't tripping, bro. Refs really hate us. We do be wearing Uggs. So that's a thing? Like Ugg boots? Like men Ugg boots? That's a thing? Wait, 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 why did he pump fake that and then throw it so low? Why did he throw that so low? What was that? He had that underneath route. He could have just thrown that. And then he just underthrew McLaurin. Yeah, I ain't wearing Uggs either. You ain't getting me. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. You ain't getting me. You men wearing Uggs. Uh, nah, that's sus. I've seen people in Uggs, though. I didn't know it was like a thing that a lot of people did though. Nah, that y'all y'all confused me with that one. Winston sack. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, what was that? Oh, they called a flag. They called a flag. Come on, Giants defense. Come on, Giants defense. Come on, come on, Giants defense. Giants defense. Of course, Akeem Tlaib thinks everything is great coverage. He's a deep, he's a corner. He thinks everything is good coverage. I'm only wearing polo boots, ACGs. Tlaib is a bum. I love Tlaib. Tlaib is my boy. Wait, actually, no. When you're looking at that, that's really not passing the fairness, bro. That was not pass interference. They actually gave us that one. Now, we've been getting hated on all game, and they've got more calls than us, but we definitely got that call. We definitely got that. That was not pass interference. I'm not going to lie to you. Not going to lie. They definitely gave us that one. They made up for one of the calls, they, the one of the bad calls they gave us earlier. He said, shut up. I'll take what I can get. Hey, bro, I'm, old. I'm always going to be objective. I'm always. I, that's, what, that's one thing about me. I don't care what's going on. I'm completely objective every time. When it comes to Atlanta, when it comes to my Burgundy and Gold, when it comes to my Georgia. He said, Rico, quiet. We deserve it. Hey, man, we got to acknowledge the fact that the refs don't completely hate us. They hate us like 90%. They gave us 10%. They gave the, the Detroit Lions 90%. Yeah, I'm going to be, hey, y'all can be all biased, y'all won. I'm always going to be objective. Y'all got it. They gave us that call. They they gave the Lions a lot more, but they gave us that one, period. Period. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. With, can we get J.D. McKissick some difference? Uh, can we, can he, can we stop giving him some cleats? He said, bitch, will hate it. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. That was a good get rid of for, uh, that was a good way to get rid of that by Alex Smith because that was definitely about to be a huge loss of yards, bro. Huge. O-line injury is hurting us. Yeah, it is. David Sharp is getting beat, bro. Rico always objective except when it comes to music, quarterback, or slang. Yeah, you just lie. You know you just lie. I mean, that's funny, but you know you lie. You know I'm the most objective person you ever met. Y'all thought y'all we were going to win. Since it's week one, it made you think that. <laughs> and you never know for real. I mean, even though I want the top draft pick, this game is not over. It's third and ten. It's not over. Terry McLaurin's always open. So unless they double team Terry McLaurin, might be able to make some shape. Huh? Another flag? What's the flag on again? Where Brody at? He's sleeping my bed. Aja is. Where's Aja? Uh, Aja's behind me in her bed, like a dog bed. Brody's in my bed, like the real life human bed. He's up there over there. Love the refs. <laughs> the refs actually like us now. The refs actually rock, rocking with us now. Okay, the refs like. I don't know if Dan Snyder paid them real quick. Sent them a quick uh sent them a quick invoice real quick. I got y'all after the game if y'all secure the bag.
Uh, that's that Dwayne Haskins right there. Everybody complained about Dwayne Haskins overthrowing easy screens. There you go. That throw is terrible. <laughs> that throw is horrible. Smith is nutting up right now. We've been getting screwed all game by the rest. I don't care if they're getting their share right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely a fair share of it. You know what I mean? Let's go, Wizards. Where'd that come from? Are you talking about for the draft? I hope y'all. I hope y'all do draft somebody really good. I hope y'all. If y'all want Lamelo, I hope y'all get Lamelo, bro. Again, I'm not a Wizards fan. I really don't have a team. I don't care about basketball. I, I really, I, I'm hoping y'all, wait, what? Where's the ball at? Oh, okay, got tip. Oh, another third and ten. Let's see if we can get another uh, pass interference real quick. Let's see if we can finesse a pass interference real quick. <laughs> uh, Lord, if we don't get LaMelo Ball, I'm switching teams to wherever he goes. Dang. Rigo can't we can't get David Bakhtari. Yeah, he might he might get franchise tagged, honestly. Um wait, you like LaMelo that much? LaMelo is gonna be a star. Now his defense is gonna be terrible. He's gonna be t t terrible on defense. Curry, uh Trey Young type of guy. He might just be a better inside scorer than them, but his his defense is gonna be terrible. Oh, good throw and catch. Look at that. Cam Sims for the first down. So do y'all believe in Dustin Hopkins? Y'all believe in Dustin Hopkins? Look at Cam. Cam Sims is starting to turn into somebody. He might be our future number two receiver, at least number three. Nah, we try for a TD. I don't trust Hopkins. We need <laughs> nobody try F no. <laughs> Why them dogs sleep, bro? I don't know. They I don't know. I'm glad they sleep. Cause if they weren't, they'd be making all kinds of noise right now. All you hear is growling and barking and biting and running around the room. So So yeah, y'all don't y'all don't want them dogs to be awake right now. I'm telling y'all that this stream is gonna get extremely unprofessional. I'm about to mute my mic. So y'all believe in Hopkins, huh? We're out of timeouts now. Guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it's already like this close. That was good coverage. Jeff Bidette. Okay, we, we, we threw a target to Jeff Bidette. I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it. We threw the ball to Jeff Bidette one time. I like it. I like it. He could make a clutch field goal in Madden. I don't know why we're not targeting Terry McCall. DC Millen, K. Av is bad. Wait, Grace, why are you so far behind? <laughs> it's like a third comment. You said something about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> you good over there, Grace? You good? <laughs> you good over there? I forgot who was talking about that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Terry McLaurin's always open. Terry McLaurin's always open. Bro, the Panthers lost this game. I gave up on that. But the Giants won. Giants won. Yes, sir. Okay, time to go for a TD. Terry for president. How you like me now? Y'all first down. Yes, sir. Where are you guys on the field? Right now? Where are we right now? Where y'all? We're on the 29-yard line. Let's go, Giants. Good job, Giants. Well, I don't know. This drive does feel like it's been three hours, Sniper. For real. Huh? What was that? Is that legal? Wasn't he in the pocket? Isn't that like a intentional ground? And Anthony Brown happy to win tomorrow in jail. Wait, what? Who? Gonna sack Lions. <laughs> My Giants, 27-17. Yes, sir. The Giants won. Giants won. Let's go. Come on, y'all. Donate to Rico. Yeah, man. Let them know, Alex Smith. Donate. Donate. Thank you. Let them know. Is this a flag on us now? False start or something? What's going on? Delay a game. Uh, I'm losing 88 to 6 in fantasy. Oh, whoo, 
smokes, no. Smokes, no. Who? Now I gotta check them out because you got me scared. You got me scared. Hold on, now I gotta check mine. You got me scared out here. Ain't even no ham on here. It ain't even no ham on here. Oh, uh, Rich, I don't, I'm not gonna look at projected score. I don't know if you just haven't had a lot of players to play, but I'm glad I'm winning. It ain't got no ham on here. Boy, if you throw it at somebody else's knees, Alex Smith, you got one more time to throw it at somebody else's knees, boy. Oh, is that on Sims? Was that on Sims? I, that might be my fault. I might be I might be dumb. I might have lied. I might be dumb. Let me see. Oh, no. That's on Sims. My fault. That's not Alex Smith at all. That's definitely on Sims. That's my fault. That's my fault, y'all. It looked alive. I thought he threw it to his knees. <laughs> I thought he threw it to his knees. All right. Yeah, that's definitely Sims. That was a good throw by Alex Smith. He caught I me. Mean, it was in stride and everything. But how are we, bro? These third and longs, bro. This is crazy. Is third and log our bread and butter right now? Like, that's what we excel at? Is it field goal time? We gonna go for it? What's going on? How we doing this? If you missed this, I'm looting tonight. I know Hopkins, Jaguars about to score. Let's go, Jaguars, please. Come on, Jaguars, please. I need a touchdown. Jaguars, please. Jaguars, please. I need that touchdown. Oh, yeah, if Hopkins misses this, he's literally fired. Like, it's, it's, that's it for that. That's literally that. Oh, he made it. He made it. Come on, Jaguars. Come on, Jaguars. Come on. Oh, my Lord. Third and long for the Jaguars. Oh, my Lord. Come on, Jaguars. Come on, Jaguars. One time, Do it one time for the one time, bro. One time for the one time, Jaguars. Come on, Jaguars. Y'all can't do this to me, man. Akeem Tlaib and OT first time as commentator. That's a good point. Rico, you forgot to change the screen. Oh, my fault. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My fault. My fault. My fault. Thank you. Appreciate that, Jake. Appreciate that, Jake. Jaguars. No. I'm watching you and the Jags. Skull Vikings go Jags. But come on, Jags, bro. Please. Please. Get right, Jags. Get right. Boy, yeah, no, nah, it's done. The Packers got that. Packers got that. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is done. This is done. That game is done. Packers got it. Jay Gruden would have lost 42-3. to three. Terry need that oxygen. Yeah, he deserves it, too. He deserves it. Putting the team on his back. How the F we erase a 21 point deficit? I don't know. Rico, that would have been a been for the win if Hopkins didn't miss earlier. Yep, literally. Literally. Seven catches for 95 yards. Jaguars QB fell. He ain't he heard tank in his ear. <laughs> he heard tank in his ear. <laughs> I'm sorry everybody in the stream today though that I couldn't get music playing. I don't know why it's not playing, but I just couldn't get it to play. Yeah, shouts out to the Giants. The Jaguars folded on us, but the Giants did it. The Panthers folded also, but shouts out to the Giants. Let's go, Giants. Good job. Good job, Giants. Way to do that. Way to do it big. Good job, Giants. Let's go, Jags. Go, Giants. Giants all day. Daniel Jones, half a game back. You got this, Brady. Alabama Ave is not... Be played with it all, live in DC all my life. If you don't know, nobody don't be slipping. So basically, don't go there unless you from there and you know somebody there. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, he 
slowed down. That's crazy. That would have been crazy. Oh, Chase Young with the penalty. That's sad how often. Awesome. Sub to the show nuts. Appreciate that, man. Let them know, man. Make sure y'all sub up. Make sure y'all like up the stream. Appreciate it, man. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think that Chase Young thing... Was that Chase Young thing really? I didn't think that was a rough in the passer. I didn't see it. Trey Apke garbage. Oh, yeah, Troy, we know that. You know, that Chase Young thing was, I don't think that was a pass interference, to be honest. I mean, a rough in the passer. I really don't. Wow. So we might wait, we might really lose off of that phantom roughing the passer. Like we might we lit we fold it like that. We fold it like that, yo. Wow. He made this kick. That's crazy. We don't even have timeouts. We can't even do the little kicker thing. Oh, this man kicks from the logo? Oh, <laughs> The ref sold. The ref sold. The ref sold. No, but Chase Young, you can't do that. I still disagree with the call. But again, it was nowhere near as bad as Kevin Pierre Lewis's thing. But it's still like you shouldn't put yourself in that situation. You should you shouldn't even do that. Ah, well. Well, well, I don't know how we did it, but we found a way to choke that game away like that. No overtime. 16 seconds left. 16 seconds left. Boy, we are a different breed. We are a different breed of trash, y'all. I'm telling you. Different breed of trash. And then Dustin Hopkins missing that one field goal earlier. That field goal he just made should have been the, the game winner, not the game tire. He missed that other field goal he should have made. Like, I mean, I just don't know, bro. I don't know what y'all want me to tell you, Tra Tank for Trevor. Chase wants Trey, Trey Lance. Hey, if I was Chase Young, I would want Trey Lance also. That's not how I want to lose four for fields. How long was that field goal? It was 59. Yeah, and that the, yeah that Terry McLaurin fumble was super fake. His knee was clearly down. Welcome to DC Fields. That's wild. Did they already update it? Let me see if they updated it on Tankathon. Let me see. We might be a little bit sorry. 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 We might be a little basura. We might be a little basura. <laughs> we trash, yo. Uh, <laughs> um, no, that's crazy, though, because the Giants moved up to the seventh pick. We are now the fourth. The Dallas. Oh, we didn't even take that L yet. No, we do. No, we did. The Cowboys haven't gone on a bye week yet. They still got to play. I don't think the Cowboys win today. But that's wild, though. It's fourth pick, y'all. Fourth pick. And there's already been a lot of reports that Dallas aren't taking a quarterback. So I really think it is that we are, we're the third team that needs a quarterback in the draft order. You know what I'm saying? He said we didn't have such an odd first half. We would have won like 40 to 20. I agree. Exactly. He said, I hate you for that song. <laughs> we might be a little basura. We might be a little basura. I think we're next level trash. Hey, we a different type of trash, bro. We get creative with it. We get creative with our losses. We make sure it's a nail biter to the end, and we lose in a different way every time. We ain't lost to a 59-yard field goal kick in a long time, y'all. Hey, you can hey, you can say anything you want to say. Dance, I mean, Ron Rivera is keeping it entertaining. You ain't never seen us lose like this before. 
<laughs> you ain't never seen us lose like this. <laughs> you ain't never seen us lose like this, bro. Lost to a 59. Bro, they got the ball with 16 seconds left. 16 seconds left, coach. 16 seconds. How? 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 Let me know. Let me understand. Let me understand. Help me find out. How How did that happen? Hmm? How'd that happen? How we do that? Taking it back to the tankathon, bro. Ain't nothing else to talk about. It ain't nothing else to talk about. It's real tragic right now, man. Cool to hide. Cam Sims is a beast. I'm really happy about Cam Sims. I'm really happy about Cam Sims. Hopkins got to go. I can't forgive him for the Cleveland in the UK. <laughs> Bruh, if anything, we're keeping it entertaining, bruh. We lose in, in like, in, in bright way, like, really, really flashy ways. He kicked the from the, bro. How do you, how do you kick the ball to somebody with 16 seconds left and lose the game? How? It's tied up. How? Let me know. Let me find out. Help me how we know. How we know. Let me know. How we do that. You trapped in against Jusu if you think Hopkins can ever make a 59-yarder. <laughs> Hopkins might have a Genjutsu over uh, Ron Rivera because I don't know how this, bro. We we hey hey. At the end of the day, at least we lose in style. We lose like this. We be losing like this. <laughs> we lose like this. <laughs> we be losing in style, boy. We be losing in a way that not can't nobody lose like us. Can't nobody lose like us. Can't nobody lose like us. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody lose like he, how we lose. <laughs> Can't nobody do this, bro. Ain't nobody this talented at losing. We too good at it. We too good at it. We find a way to lose in a different way every time. Every time. Don't nobody lose like us. We got that on lock. Don't nobody in this division lose like how we lose. We the best losers in division. <laughs> I ain't even mad no more. The game's always entertaining. That's what I'm saying, bro. Talk to him. Bro, we, we, we trash, bro. We a lot of words I can't say on a PG on a PG-13 stream. We a lot of things. Good ain't one of them. Good ain't one. <laughs> and don't nobody lose like how we lose. We lose different. We lose in style, flashy. Don't nobody lose like how we lose. We take that to the heart. The Eagles thought they lost, we showed them up. Eagles thought they lost the heartbreaker, we showed them up. <laughs> Can't nobody lose like how we lose except for the Falcons. Can't nobody else do what we do but the Falcons, bro. <laughs> Can't nobody else do what we do but the Falcons. We That's the only team we can't compete with this year, bro. The Falcons are different. We ain't lost off a stupid onside kick that should have never been, uh, never been, uh, what's it called, it caught. We ain't, we ain't lose we ain't that we ain't that good. He said we are exhausted. <laughs> How sway? Yeah, we trash, bro. Hey y'all, Riga, how are you? What's good, Troy Cabrera? What's good, man, my boy? We not even the best. Yeah, now that I think about it, when I think of the Falcons, we can't do what they do. We really good at being not good, but we not the Falcons. Falcons different, bro. Falcons hit you different. Falcons hit you really different, bro. Extra different. Trey Lance, yes, sir. All right, y'all, man. Make sure y'all pull up later on. Make sure y'all pull up for the stream later on, y'all. We got the post-game live stream at 5 p.m. Make sure y'all pull up for that, all right? Post-game live stream. We're going to review the game. This is Y'all call in on this number. You guys call in. Y'all in the chat. Y'all guys watching this YouTube stream. Y'all call in at this number. Enter in the access code at 5 p.m. We're going to get the lines going. Y'all can call in. Y'all are going to be a part of the show. If you want to call into the show, pull up at 5 p.m. and hit up this number. Hit up this number. I got y'all. <laughs> Bro, this is losing good. <laughs> Rico Pops. Let's go. Giants won and Skins lost. Bro, perfect. I'm calling in my boy Scotty from the UK calling in. I got you. But what happened to Chase? I don't know. If you in the... Uh... All right, y'all, man. I just need to take a break because I've been yelling. I've been talking too much. I need to take the dogs out to pee. I got to pee. Um, so come back at 5 p.m. I got y'all, man. We're going to do the post-game live stream per usual, all right? 
per usual, we're going to get down to business, all right? Make sure y'all call up, too. Call up, too. Call up. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all in about, like, what is that? 37 minutes, all right, y'all? All right. Now, get it. Oh, I appreciate all the subscriptions, too, man. Thank y'all, all y'all, for subscribing, man. We ran up the subscribers today, man. I appreciate y'all. Don't nobody lose like us. Oh, my boy, Troy Cabrera with the donation. Let's go. 20 of them guys. 20 of them guys, man. I really appreciate that. My boy, Troy Cabrera. First of all, he's my only all-pro my all pro sponsor. My boy, Troy Cabrera, holding it down. The singular all-pro sponsor, man. I re oh, Aja, you got to pee? I'm about to take you out. I got you. The, the game just ended. I got you. I'm going to take you out to Pete and we're going to live stream again. Man, really appreciate that, Troy Cabrera, man. For real, for real. All right, man. For real, I'm going to catch y'all at 5 p.m. I appreciate everybody that pulled up. Make sure you like the stream on the way out. Make sure you pull back up at 5 p.m. and call into the show for the post-game live stream. And, and I'll catch y'all later, man.